Um, so first things is that, uh, unfortunately, Jack's airnet is not working. The, uh, American infrastructure has failed us. So he might show up later on, um, but right now it's just going to be us. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm going to do a quick recap here because it's been about a month since our last session. And thankfully, John took some amazing notes last time we played, which helps me a lot because I'm terrible at taking notes. And this would have probably been a lot worse of a recap, uh, without this. So, um, yeah, I'll just get right into it. Um, so basically last time, I guess this actually goes to the level one scenario, uh, you guys sort of fucked over, uh, the, uh, the host of chaos, uh, <laughs> by taking the, uh, yokeless egg to, um, a scion of law. The um, more I look back on that, <laughs> yeah. the easier it is. Yeah. Why did we, we do did. that? Cause, Cause we're chaotic, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually neutral. Like, I, it's wow. funny. You guys are so chaotic that you gave shit to the law. Like, like you went to the lawful yeah. guys and gave it to them. That's how chaotic you guys are. You can't. You fucking can't stay in one lane. I love it. <sighs> no wonder he wants our help now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, we're the most chaotic people I know. <laughs> <laughs> but during your stay with the host, um, I believe, uh, which character was it? Was it um, Pip? Um, I believe it was Pip that mm -hmm. uh, was uh, sort of granted a vision by this giant yes. uh, demon lord that was basically a big eyeball with some chicken legs on it called Clarv Garak. Cl Clarv Garak. And that that guy sort of made a deal with Pip to bring him the Oculus Egg. Uh, of course, like I just said, uh, Pip and the gang did not do that. Uh, Clarv Garak has decided that he can sort of help uh, satiate uh, the host of chaos from, you know, getting too much revenge on the group uh, if um, Pip and the group do a little favor for him. And this favor turned out to be helping out um, Eloise, one of these sisters on this island. Um, basically, there's three sisters on this island. I'll move the uh, sheet here. Um, and you guys weren't really sure what that meant. You guys got to the island. Um, you met some weird golden cannibals called goldlings uh, that sort of brought you to their little village. Uh, Eloise showed up. She told her she uh, wants you to murder her sister, um, Strava, on the other side of the uh, <laughs> the other side of the of the island. Um, for whatever politics go on between them, she wasn't super clear, and she also seemed a little bit crazy. So you guys seemed to not want to push your buns. She was too also much. eating, uh, just like openly eating, yeah, the little, like goldlings <laughs> that yeah. were worshiping her. Yeah, uh, she... and they were riding dinosaurs. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is important to mention that also that goldlings taste pretty good. Yeah, I think right. one of you guys, Marin, was it you who ate I... it? One of you guys ate it, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, I think a number of us I, ate it. Yeah, a number I think, of us did, yeah. yeah. I, th I think uh, Pip and Chisel might have had some too, if I recall correctly. I <laughs> Fennec yeah. definitely did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys you guys took part, uh, got a little bit of information from her, and she told you guys to go across the island, across the maze of sunken ruins, and go basically kill her sister. Um, along the way there, you guys met a giant ape named Gormaz, um, who was apparently looking to become a great warlord, and will pay you guys a thousand gold to take him on your ship when you guys leave, uh, so that he can go to the mainland and fulfill what he believes is his destiny. Um, and you guys so far have agreed to do that. Um... Past that, you guys, you guys, he helped you guys go across the place and sung at runes without too much trouble. You guys uh, fought some mossy, rocky crabs. Uh, they killed one of your hirelings. Uh, then you guys climbed a mountain to get sort of lay the land. <laughs> um, and during that time, you guys were about to get ambushed by some sort of Spider-Man creatures that you guys uh, killed with a massive rock slide and then ran away. But while you guys oh, were great. running away, <laughs> you guys lost pretty much all your hirelings, except for uh, Terry and Cooper. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a minor setback. And to be fair, we did lose Barry Cheese, the cheese maker, to, <laughs> to the crab things. Um, yeah. They yeah. eviscerated him in a single blow, as I recall. Yeah. So, yeah, you it's got... an interesting position to be in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and like I said oh, last Chuck. time, when I gave you guys hirelings as part of, part of the ship thing, uh, this part was not really what they were for. Uh, this was sort of supposed to be the kind of like, uh, 
media medium level difficulty area. Um, uh-huh. But now we're getting well, to the sadly, real we stuff. We couldn't have known there was going to be a climbing roll. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's only mountains you guys are going up and down. But no, we, uh, that was unprecedented roll uh, in a and d like game. Um mm. But yeah, so, but after that, that's basically. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I can picture at least one of my characters running from whatever thing happens to us and just like trying to get away from this scenario. And I was gonna say, I think there's been at least one occasion where that is how a game that Wasabi was running ended, where the entire party was like, nah, we're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna leave. Yeah. Uh, I've 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 had a few of those where people go, "No, nah, this is too fucked up. I'm out. I'm I don't give a shit what happens to me. I'm just I'm not dealing with this." Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, shit. Um, but yeah, that's basically nice. where we le- where we left off. Um, what I've sort of added to the ending of the last sessions, I can't really remember. It's been a month now. I can't really remember how the last one went totally. Um, but basically, I was thinking you guys just took a long rest. You guys were able to sort of leave. Uh, sort of uh, get into the jungle away from the arachno men that you had killed and sort of, you know, give yourself pretty much a wide berth enough so you guys would sort of sell down and camp. And while camping, nothing really happened. You guys did see that big bird um, that apparently is Strava's minion uh, fly across the sky. Uh, John's character saw that. Um, but yeah, so we'll be starting um, at the next morning, sort of like right kind of right here um, to sort of also recap more stuff. You guys know that you guys are head for this for this mountain but also um john you did see that the bird uh like during around like the morning has sort of come back to whatever little altar it seems to be going to now it's hard to see where you guys are from down below but you basically know the general idea that there's both the sort of volcano itself where strava staying um and also that other like on a on a lower part of the mountain um that that part where the bird seems to be so um it's all those crystals yeah, exactly. So that's really up to you guys which one you want. I mean, you guys can go to both, obviously, but if you guys want to try and skip one or go to the other one first, you guys can do that. Um, but we're basically going to be getting into it now with you guys. Um, I don't know if... I don't think anybody needed healing. I think you guys are all pretty good, actually, because you guys were able to get points through. points-wise, I think. Um, if any of you guys spent luck, if any of you guys are thieves, you do get your level and luck back. Um, I didn't spend any. Yeah. Cool. One quick question oh. before we start. Is yeah. anybody using Void Striker? Have you got that, Dan? No, you haven't. Uh, no, I don't believe so. What is that? It's a sword? That was something that we picked up um, That's what, last um, time, Ryan. The, yeah. the Scion of Law, when you guys uh, mm. saved or gave that to you guys. Oh, no, because both my characters are chaotic, Sorry, yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Do so- um, Ixie, didn't we? Ma- I, I, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, oh, and I guess just so everybody knows how we're going to be working with Jack. Jack's characters are still here. Um, they're basically they just not wave gonna be, at us. Yeah, they're not going to be. Excuse me. Get up um, there, Ixie. <laughs> yeah, as we all know about lizard men. <laughs> Come on, um, Ninja, you can do it. They're, uh, they don't they don't respond halfway through a scenario. And that's just. Uh, yeah, they just kind of go into a, like a. It's not quite a fugue state, <laughs> but it is a kind of coma. <laughs> yeah, some sort of catatonia, just. Mm-hmm. And all you guys observe Doyle and Ixie's character sheets. If you want any gear they have on them, you guys can grab them, that sort of stuff. And also, I'll also allow if there's something that like they would be best at, and you guys want to just do a thing, I'm also gonna allow mm-hmm. you guys to sort of do that. I can just roll for them. Um, oh, but before we do that, uh, there is Cooper and Terry, the two um, hirelings that were Jacks. Yes. Who wants those? Because we can, one person can take both, or we can slip them up between two of you. Um, well, Jack will be back in about maybe, maybe ten minutes. I just saw he's got a message oh, saying. Did Jack, Jack say his internet's back? Yeah. Oh, cool. oh shit. Okay, cool. I have no idea. Nice. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. So <laughs> I and then it happened just like five minutes earlier. We could have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, five minutes earlier would have been perfect, right? We would have avoided this whole thing. But uh... he says, uh, "Ping him." Uh, gotcha. Hey! <laughs> oh, Tim! Uh, Tim just gave us a hundred bits. Thank you, Tim. So you guys have one re-roll. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, Alex Tim. told me you're going to die. Thanks, <laughs> 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 I mean, we're probably going to die, but Tim, it's been a miracle every 
session where we have it. Ah. So I mean, yeah. you can think about now it. Now Jack's in the GM chair on the uh, stream here. Let me uh, let me <laughs> fix things around a little bit because that's of... why I wanted to give you a heads up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. I have to do this on the stream anyway, so I'll just quiet, go. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> what's up jack how you doing oh fucking internet i have no idea why that happened but here we are still yeah, still sort of nice. recovering from the new year honestly but <laughs> not like hungover just tired <laughs> yeah there i am yeah i don't know how weird this looks on on screen but a little uh... bit but not too bad <laughs> all right i oh jesus christ <laughs> Just moving everybody around now. Uh, yeah, Jack, you just missed the recap. Um, <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, I forget everything, so I don't need it. <laughs> John's notes are actually super helpful. Um, so I'm just going to... Wait a minute. Can I... There we go. Um, I'm just sharing those all. I think that should, should pop up. Um, but basically, just to give you the quick recap as well, uh, Jack, since we won't do the whole thing, but where you guys are now, you guys have just like sort of survived against those arachno men that came, um, and then you uh, sort of escaped and and have sort of run into the jungle. So if you guys have stayed there for the night, you guys nothing happened during the night. You guys are able to sort of like stay in the jungle and stay safe. We're going to the next morning, and you know that. Um, Strava, the sister of Eloise, Eloise was the one that gave you the mission to go uh, kill her. Um, you know that her volcano is just over here. You guys are probably around like here or so, probably about like a, a, a day away of trekking, you know, towards that part. Um, and yeah, that that's that pretty much sums up where you guys are now. Um, and like I said, John's notes sort of do a really good job of recapping everything there. So, yep, I remember now. Yeah. Please praise me more. Yeah, I will. Oh, <laughs> very good. Very good. I, yeah. listen, I, listen, yeah. I I'm terrible at taking notes, so it's uh, <laughs> so I appreciate it, John. Mm -hmm. um, um, but okay. Yeah. Uh, yo, yeah. So I guess actually, uh, Jack, you can keep your you can keep your uh, PC your uh, your hirelings since you're back Thanks now. We're about um, to plunder your characters for all of the weapons. Yeah, but take, and all, all, they take have. all their shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Please, I'm not even dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, can I can see the stream even though I didn't have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ban I, I ban Jack Meal to chat in the in the in the Twitch chat, so I can't even stop you guys. Yeah. I'm a mod. You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, so you guys have uh, the basically two different locations that you guys know of. There's the actual volcano at the top. Now, there might be other entrances in there. Um, I do believe at the law as mentioned, there's other entrances to the volcano. If you guys do want to do more recon around, there's also, like I said, the part where the where that bird seems to fly to. It's a little layer um, just down a bit from the from the mouth of the volcano. Um, so whatever, whichever, whichever one you guys want to go for, you can do that. And we'll uh, see where things go. So what do you guys think I'm doing? Pip says, uh, what if we uh, try to make a beeline for the volcano and uh, wait till nightfall <laughs> and see what the giant bird creature does? <laughs> oh, and uh, PT also just gave us 300 bits. Thank you, PT. Hey, thank, um, you. thank you. I don't know if that not die until she gets back from making food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we will do our best. I don't. I don't know no if promises. that's is that next attack rolls a crit. I'm assuming that's three re rolls, but uh, I we'll think that's three re rolls because yeah. it's three one hundred. Yeah, bits. yeah. Cool. All right, you guys have four re rolls so far. Maybe you guys won't die. We'll see. <laughs> okay, yeah, we will see. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there, uh, Dan. Uh, go ahead, guys. No, no, I think, uh, yeah, Pip said what he wanted to say. <clears throat> beeline uh, straight for the uh, volcano? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beeline to the volcano, see what the bird does. Yeah, Jedediah agrees. Well, that's, a, that's a good idea, that is. I don't like the idea of uh, coming up against that on, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go for the mountain. Okay. We're walking along, Cedric's like, well, I think maybe... What if we? What if we could release the thing? If it's bound, if it's an astral being and it's bound to the place, maybe we could release it. It would have to go back to its plane, and then she would have to summon it all over again. Could work. Sounds complex. Just 
probably, we, I mean, none of us know magic. Kind of have to go past the altar almost to get to the volcano area. So maybe we can do some recon on the way. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. If, if it's convenient, it might be worth doing. It might not. Um, it's in the same general direction. Like it, 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 hmm. it might be. It might be a bit slower to go check it out, but it's not like a significantly amount slower. Like maybe you'll lose an hour of time. Um, so it's up to you if that's worth it, or if you guys want to be land for it. But that's that's basically. I I would say from you guys already traveling through this island and kind of getting an idea of how long it takes you guys to go up mountains. In fact, you guys are probably faster now without all that uh, <laughs> literal dead weight at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> mm. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck's body is still warm, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not say, how, cold. How many, how many bits for a raised dead? <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you can't give yourself bits. <laughs> I told you to begin the campaign. <laughs> I see your credit card out. No. <laughs> also, raised dead on a higher level should be a pay to win. win. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Sartan M wants a patron spell to be cast. Sartan <laughs> <laughs> <Certain> M. Yes. <laughs> Wasabi's gonna start charging the players for loot boxes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. oh my god. <laughs> DCC streams uh, now with loot boxes. Just but it's god just... damn it, another good berry. We don't need this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, god. no, it might be useful later. <laughs> uh um so, so what, what, yeah, uh, yeah, let's go uh, let's go. Yep. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, uh, let's get at least uh, closer to the to the volcano. See what uh, what we encounter. Maybe uh, maybe our encounters along the way will give us an idea of what we want to do when we get closer. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Pip sounded like he was starting to turn Canadian there for a little bit. But Dan, she's like, let's go oh, yeah, over. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah let's yeah. go over that way and uh, <laughs> yeah, see what we can find. You know. Oh, look, um, some hosers. Uh, <laughs> I love doing that kind of Canadian Minnesota <laughs> accent. <laughs> Next session, we'll all watch Fargo before we play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so just, just to be clear, uh, so are you guys be lying for the volcano, or are you, go or are you going to the... Uh... Like the birds, uh, sort of uh, layer first. Which what was the what was the final answer? I think the volcano is probably better. You want a volcano? Mm. All right. Yeah, probably the better yeah. idea. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if any of us have enough knowledge of astral <laughs> binding magic to really yeah, know much that's, of the that's difference my thinking. There. That's a fair <laughs> point. Also, <laughs> I mean, you guys do have a wizard, but no, it's that's a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris, Chris is looking slightly put out, but uh, you can tell she really doesn't know anything about that kind yeah. of stuff. <laughs> if it involves a tree, she'd be fine. Cough, cough. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, so you guys sort of uh, pack up your gear, and you guys start uh, slicing your way through the jungle um, towards the volcano. Um, it does take you guys the better part of an adventuring day uh, to sort of get through this thick jungle. You guys do see um, lots of different creatures on your way there. Also swatting really big fat mosquitoes off of you. Uh, you see, every once in a while you do see sort of red eyes in the forest. Nothing seems to actually approach you or attack you, uh, thankfully, which is kind of a nice change of pace so far. Um, but you guys keep yourselves just swiftly moving towards it until finally you guys get to the base of the volcano. Um, it's probably around um, maybe like 4 or 5 p.m. at this point. Like the, the sun's still up, but it is starting to go down somewhat. Um, you guys do see um, just on the cusp, it, you can't see them fully clearly just yet because of the light, but you see what looks like three moons are starting to rise um, into the sky. Um and uh, you guys see that this this mountain itself seems to have what you assume is probably a lot more traffic than the last mountain that you guys were um, going on because you guys see lots of different footprints all across it. Um, it's still a bit of a steep climb, but it should be easier than the last one. Um, so uh, what do you guys want to do uh, in terms of preparation for actually getting up this mountain? What color are these moons? The moons are hard to tell what color they are, but you see um, a red one, a blue one, and a green one. Chris will point this out to the group and say, um, oh, this, is, um, this is very interesting. On the first night, there was a blue moon. The second night, there was a, a blue and a red moon. And now we've got a, a red, a blue, and a green moon. What does it mean? 
bird is powered by the moon, then more moons probably equals more bad. <laughs> or more bird, at the very least. Yeah. Oh, that's what I said. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope there aren't more of them. Uh, yeah. See the uh, the lizard man word for bird is man. Uh, well, do you guys know it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad, bad actually? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just suddenly was a real Boston. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but we all know, and like guys, it's very common common lore in a lot of settings that lizard men speak with thick Boston accents. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, don't make me they do that. Oh don't have I a yeah. Don't make me do this. Yeah. <laughs> So is it uh, is the mountain steep enough where we would want to like tie off to one another? Are we climbing or is it is it more of a path? It, it's um I, I would say it's probably a, steep. A, a mixture of the two where the rock is enough for you guys to sort of climb it, but also get some pretty good footing here and there. It's still just one of those things where there could be loose rocks. It's not exactly a perfectly cut path. It just seems that over time, whatever things move through here a lot have sort of worn the stone down. Um, over mm. however many centuries they've uh, been here. Um, so what, I, what I'm more asking is, is there any preparations that you guys are doing to be safe in case anything does happen? Um, tying yourself so off is turns, one thing. But uh, go ahead, John. Derek so turns to everybody and he's like, I think what we should do is wait until the bird has left. Mm -hmm. Then quickly scramble up the, mount, up the volcano, into the mouth, and uh, kill the lady. Hopefully whatever magic she used to bind the bird fades with her death, and we escape. I like it. Yeah. Says oh, Chisel. I, I, I think we should find out. Um, well, what's going on here? I mean, she... Uh, and uh, Chris realizes that everyone else is really just interested in the money. Um, <laughs> she, yeah, she, she might... Chisel and Pip are just, like, blankly staring at Chris <laughs> she, <laughs> she might be offering more. <laughs> hmm. Maybe some gems and, and I don't know, possibly something shiny, something magical. Cedric Cedric puts his hands, steeples his fingers, and he's he's covered in the white glowing uh, snake scales that we got from the, uh, the <laughs> that angel, and he's like, yes, but also helping her would probably get rid of our last ally in the court of chaos, and oh, probably speed yeah. up any retribution on their side. Well, I I don't know. Um... Uh, but remember, um, I'm I'm sure um, she she she's she's lawful. She may have something against the undead. Just just think of that. <laughs> Cedric's like a lot of people hate the undead. A lot of people got mugged by skeletons as children. <laughs> Seems to have struck <laughs> her. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That, that is actually uh, Cedric's backstory. That's Cedric's backstory of how he became a undead hunter. <laughs> I feel like this would be like a. Go ahead. Go ahead yeah. Pip says, a lot of people? Yeah, yeah. Just glance at a lot of people. everybody Pip. other than Cedric. Like, <laughs> yeah. We One in so eight hard. people get mugged by skeletons every year. <laughs> and they're, the shame is such that they're so afraid to mention it because people laugh at you and they're like, why would a skeleton mug you? They don't even have bodies. <laughs> I believe the sampling methods in your surveys are flawed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where would it even put the money? How would it ask you for money? The bones uh, are the skeleton's uh, money. <laughs> oh, you've never heard anything so ridiculous, says Jedediah. They give it to their leader, Skeletrax. <laughs> <laughs> Pip and Chisel have now completely forgotten about uh, Chrysanthemum's like plea to like uh, hopefully help uh, this lawful person out. All right, so I say we do what Cedric said: I'll wait for the bird to leave, then get up there and kill her. <laughs> Possibly we could come through the through the roof on a rope, swing in, and just make it clean. <laughs> do volcanoes have skylights? Technically, yes. The whole <laughs> thing is a skylight. <laughs> Depending on where she's built inside the volcano, yes. <laughs> so the, the plan is to wait until darkness and uh, what, see. Yeah, wait, wait till we. Because this is based on the fact that Cedric saw the bird fly out yesterday and it seemed to be going over to the other island, mm -hmm. which at the very least would mean that it wouldn't have much time to. It would take a time to get back if something went wrong. So, you know, that's my thinking. Do we want to climb the mountain during the day? Right? Mm. Maybe it's, so maybe we it's don't have sleeping to... during the day. 
Yeah, and we don't have to go up the mountain in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, the bird is a concern, <laughs> yeah. but I was more thinking about our success yeah. at scaling mountains <laughs> at night. <Yeah. laughs> it has almost a 50% fatality rate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Slightly over that, because mm. the, the hirelings did all... <laughs> oh, right, that was two for one. It was like 65% <laughs> <Yeah>. probably. <laughs> Is Pim pulls out one? his rope and he's like, yeah, Ixie, Ixie you got a point. And uh, kind of <laughs> yeah, starts tying it around his waist. Also, it's a big <clears throat> volcano. I mean, you know, how much attention are like seven people climbing a volcano really going to draw? Mm. Yeah, and this but volcano is probably like a big mountain range as you can see like from the topographical map there. We've all seen those helicopter shots from the Lord of the Rings movies. You can't see two people climbing up anything. I love the idea that, that Jack truly believes there's actually a Mount Doom. And he's like, listen, I, I saw the aerial footage. I saw it, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the same thing as the real Mount Doom. <laughs> Yeah, of course they built a scale model of it for the eruption because you can't make a volcano erupt unless you have Duh, actual magic. That would take at least like a hundred million more dollars to make that volcano erupt. <laughs> Adjusted for inflation. <laughs> oh, righty. So we're going to wait till dawn and then scale. Sounds good. All right. So um, you guys wait uh, for the sun to set. The three moons rise into the sky. Um, and as the three moons, uh, three moons rise and like the sun sets... Out of the volcano, a giant blast of like a sort of white, whitish gray light just shoots up straight into the sky, just like a big sort of blast um, for a few seconds, probably about 10 seconds or so. Just it, it makes the whole area shake. It's really, really loud. It lights up basically the entire night sky and then fades away. And soon after, you guys see. Um, over across, I would probably say you guys probably have tried to get yourselves into a part into a spot where you guys can like be hidden, but still have an idea of like what if, what's going on. Um, and you can see up top where the birds uh, uh, layer is 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 uh, located. Um, you see that another sort of light comes from that as you hear a big sort of screeching noise coming from that direction. Um, and um, outside of that, you don't see it fly anywhere though. You don't see it fly off like you did the night before. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, it's hard to really see. I don't know if any of you guys are doing any investigations or anything, or you guys are staying put. Um, I was going to say Cedric's kind of trying to keep watch. He wants to study this bird cause he's worried about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you, I don't know if, if the thing is, is I don't know if, uh, at this, at this angle, it's kind of hard to really get a bead on anything mm -hmm. going out there. If Cedric does want to break from the group and sort of go up a little bit or anything like that, you can, if you're staying with the group for the night, it's fine. But I think he's going to break off and just go and investigate. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. yeah, you you need a you need a one of them. Um, I, I don't know, creeping type, something like a, I don't know, a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Pip Pips Pip will go along with uh, Cedric. Okay, sounds good. So I'm just gonna fix some of the cameras here. <laughs> <laughs> just I just noticed Jack is just like off in the corner there. <laughs> That's like not that, that, that's, drifting to one. Side yeah, that's, not, that's not your fault. It's just the camera's got moved around. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, so uh, Pip is going to be joining Cedric. Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, let, let's uh, let's get a better a better a better bird's eye view. And yeah, now, so, so uh, is the altar uh, like below it. us? I get it. What'd you say, oh, sir? It's, it's up. It's above us, okay. Yeah, so the, you guys, the altar is further up the, yeah. the mountain still. To give you to give you a better visual, you guys are basically at the bottom of this big volcano. Obviously, the peak of the volcano is the top, and the um the layer that's sort of open to the sky is probably about halfway up the the volcano. So it's probably like it's still far away, but you guys are probably able to sort of loop around a bit and sort of get at least some sort of view on it. Um, so the rest of the group is just sort of staying put where you guys are, keep an eye out for things, and just sort of staying, you know, quiet. Uh, you two, um, Pip and Cedric, go off. You guys have to, like, sort of climb for about 15 minutes or so. Uh, sort of, you're trying to be, you try to be extremely quiet. A few, every, every once in a while, a few rocks kind of crumble and sort of just, like, stop, you know, and then uh, you keep moving. Um, and so what you guys see um, up there um, is it looks like the bird is surrounded by about, about maybe, um, it's hard to count from here, but probably between 30 to 50 
um, little bald um, whitish blue creatures. They look a bit like goldlings, um, but they are they are um, it's hard to tell from here. Um, but they definitely are a lot more creepy looking from what you can tell. They have sort of this grayish unnatural glow to them. And Cedric, do you want to give me an intelligence check? Okay, yeah. Um, you can tell even from here. Um, the birds, obviously, astral. But these creatures, they aren't quite undead, but they aren't alive either. They seem to be... Whatever sort of aura you're getting off of them from your studies and your training and all that stuff that you've done, you can tell that these creatures are somewhat um, somewhat wrong. There's sort of that unlife to them that you can just tell. Um, and they're all sort of surrounding this bird. Um, you also see a woman um, sort of communing with this bird, uh, sort of touching its head. Um, she's about the size of you, probably about like maybe she's probably like she's about, probably like six feet tall. Um, and the bird, as you can tell from this, has to be like a gigantic creature um, because mm -hmm. her hand is touching like its beak, and its beak is just like it's just like a third of its beak. It's it's a massive creature. Um, and it's hard to really tell what's going on from there. You can't you hear some noise coming from this procession, but you're just too far away to really tell what anybody's saying or what's going on from here, but there's some sort of thing going on. Pip, I think we've got an opportunity. We could... This might be a ritual to rebind the bird if we shoot one of the little things, which, by the way, look to me like filthy undead. <laughs> we could... They're undead? By the looks of things, yeah. Look at their, look at their disgusting pallor. <laughs> <laughs> that or n huge nerds. <laughs> So what do you think? They're going to sacrifice these little things? Oh, I think they're already dead. No, I think they're using them to... She's using them as some kind of a chorus for amplifying a, a binding spell, maybe. Okay, you want to creep closer? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this should be interesting. All right, yeah, so you guys start getting closer. Um... Do you want, uh, Pip, do you want to give me a, how, okay, I should say, how close are you guys getting into? Because if you're going to try and shoot off an arrow or something, I just want, the best way to do it is, are you going to be doing it far enough where you're going to have sort of a disadvantage on the shot, or are you trying to get close enough that you can shoot pretty well? Like, are you, how close are you guys getting? With just the two of Cedric, us, I think. I don't have anything to shoot one of those creatures. <laughs> <laughs> do you? <laughs> well, Cedric takes out his crossbow and he's like, well, I do, but. Ah, right, of course. But I was thinking maybe we could just fire from a distance and then run away. Ah. <laughs> just disrupt like them a little the sound bit. sound of that. Yeah. Yeah. Pip, a big smile on Pip's face at the sound of running away. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, hit from a distance and, and try to run. So let's, let's creep up just close <laughs> enough to get a shot off. And then Alex is like, I wonder if they can use those rerolls to re remake terrible decisions. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Oh, Pip. Yeah, no, uh, oh, okay. So your <laughs> hatred for the undead knows no bounds. <laughs> so to get to get close enough, so to get close enough to get like a shot in, um, just mm -hmm. sort of a shot with a somewhat of a disadvantage, is probably going to be about half an hour because it is halfway up the, uh, the yeah. mound there. Um, if you want to get close enough to get shot in without any sort of penalty and then be able to run away, it's probably going to be, I would say, probably an hour of going up the mountain. So you guys are going to be basically, I, you guys are going to be at least 45 minutes away from the rest of the group or about an hour or so. It, it is a bit of a risk, isn't it? <laughs> it's a it's bit, bit of a risk, you guys. So yeah, just to remind you, there are about thirty to fifty of these little creatures. Um, yeah, you guys, you do have a very sneaky thief, and also I think the ended hunter has some level of sneakiness. You're not in heavy armor or anything like that, so you two could possibly hide uh, to an extent decently well. I would say Pip, because of your thieving skills, you might be able to actually help out John a little bit uh, in terms of hiding if you want to do that or running away, whatever you guys decide to do. Um, <laughs> but I just want to let you guys know the risks of what you're doing. What you're yeah, doing. yeah, totally. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, as he realizes there's 30 of them and the witch herself plus and the, the bird. bird which might... Yeah. <laughs> Cedric's like, Pip, I've got an even more cunning plan. <laughs> oh, uh, let me see if I can guess what you're about to say. We go get the rest of the group. <laughs> And tell them what's going on. 
Is that what you're Genius. doing? <laughs> Great minds think alike. And he kind of He's like, well, oh, that wasn't my, my plan. Well, my plan was entirely oh. different. <laughs> oh, well, well, what was your plan? Just out of curiosity. Oh, my plan was to... <laughs> my plan was to get sneak up a little closer and maybe listen in. <laughs> oh! And then try and sneak away. <clears throat> we could do that. But, uh... Yeah. He he shrugs. He's like, "No, no, yours is a much better idea. Much, much, <laughs> much, low, much lower risk of death." Um. All right, let's go. Let's try to get back soon, and then try to get them up the mountain with us. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so you guys are just you guys are gonna turn around and go back towards the group then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So you guys turn back, and you just you're able. Pip's to- no hero. <laughs> Cedric's not either. He just hates the undead, yeah, which yeah. commonly happen to be against the interests of the living. Uh, I was gonna do this no matter what you guys did because I thought it was hilarious. I'm gonna give us both a fleeing luck just for going off. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are gonna head back towards the group. You guys are able to get there without too much trouble. It takes you about, like I said, 15 minutes to get back to the group. Um, yeah, it's up to you guys. Uh, yeah, so we get back and. Uh... <clears throat> there's a ritual going on. 60 creepy little undead things. Cedric Psalm. <laughs> Big bird. 30, 30 little undead things. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk again. Are you seeing double? Is that what it is? <laughs> uh, no, you, you you know Pip can't count. That That's cruel. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I can count money. And I didn't see any money up there, per se. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like she's got undead, which you guys know how I feel about those guys. Uh, but it also looks like undead, uh, then? That's not, it looks like the right. lady we're after is up there with them, though. Zophinia. That many of those things. <laughs> it's a uh, Strava you're looking for, Dan. Just a. Oh, I'm sorry. So, no, it's fine. There's three sisters. So Faye is the neutral so, one. So Faye, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah. They're all sort of creepy sisters, so it's not. I, I don't blame you for getting them mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> How could you mix up the weird one with probable necromancy and the one we haven't met? <laughs> yeah, the one with lifelike creepy dolls. Creepy dolls. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Here, Pip. Is there um? Is there like a lot of rocks at the top of this volcano? That we can <laughs> let loose and, <laughs> and then we could crush them or something. Did you see that? I well, it's got to be. <laughs> uh, We've got idea. one tactic. <laughs> It worked pretty it worked well last time. It has a hundred well. percent success rate so far. So. <laughs> Kill it with rocks. That's what I say. <laughs> I would like to get up above them. I think that's a good idea, just in general. Um, and well, in terms of pathways, I'd say if you guys were surveying the system or surveying the the area, um, I mean, there's rocks everywhere, so it's really hard to tell if any would be in the same position as you were before. Um, overall, because like I said, this seems like a pretty high traffic area. A lot of it's sort of worn down and pretty like it's it's nowhere near as dangerous as the last mound. So there might be might be some rocks here or there. Getting by the group though, like getting trying to find a route past them to get above them to do the same thing as before, uh, that might be really hard, especially with a big group like yours without being especially seen. to do it while they're still there. <laughs> yeah, and also a place they're very familiar with. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh well, rocks is off then. Um, I mean, it's not off. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys try to make sure you guys understand the risks of any, any choices you're making here. That's all. You guys feel free to do whatever the hell you want. Cedric's uh, <clears> like, <throat> well, given that the bird's not a problem during the day, it is powered by the moon after all. Uh, we could probably just leave this till morning and not worry about it. What if we? What if? What if we snuck up around and tried to make our way into her lair in the volcano? And try to ambush her there when she comes back. Shank her in the side as she comes in the door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or we could wait till morning. Yes. Who knows? She might not be back till morning. Yeah. Yes, and absolutely look for other routes into the into the uh, like around the volcano if you want to at night. Uh, given that. Yeah, 
Given That's that we so don't weird. seem to have um, much of a time impetus beyond, you know, not wanting to be on this horrible island. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we, we can take the time and scout a little bit. Yeah. Can... I'm just like, maybe not too much, but, you know, a little bit. Just get, get an idea of, like, an escape route, maybe. <laughs> you That's know, just something that I'd like to have. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Okay. Um, so you guys are you guys staying here for the rest of the night or are you guys doing anything? Sounds good. All right. Yep. So you guys stay here for the night. Um, excuse me. And uh you guys eventually see uh the light of where the bird uh, is goes down. For anybody who's keeping an eye out, you do see the creatures sort of going back up the volcano and uh eventually disappearing behind different rocks here and there um and then the later on the sun rises uh, you guys have all sort of taken turns taking watch and that sort of thing uh but it is again another quiet night um and yeah now it's now it's morning again um where do you guys want to go in terms of like uh recon if that's what you're planning to do if i didn't misunderstand you john what about um, i was thinking Wait. what if we checked like what if we split in half and then checked like the north and south faces, see if there was a decent route? Um, yeah, I was, I was thinking about heading down to the south, kind of heading around the other side of the of the mountain to see if yeah, if there's another route or an entrance, caves. Do we want to split up or do we want to uh, stick together? I'm not sure Reach. splitting up is a good idea. I mean, yeah, anything could happen. I'll say from where you are in the middle of the uh, sort of this part of the, the island, um, I would say you guys, it will take you half a day to go north or south. So if you guys do split up, you guys can reconvene at the end of the day and take another day to sort of sleep if you guys want to. If you guys do want to go and check it out as a group together, you can probably make it to one side or the other, but but not both in one day. I mean, you could do yeah. it in one day, but you will be far away at night, and there are other things. Um, there were <laughs> certain creatures mentioned, so uh, there's that sort of stuff, but yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it's been a month, so it's hard to remember what exactly you guys do know and don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah. We're um, not entirely sure of the entire beast area of the, of the jungle. Yeah. Um, hmm. We're not entirely sure about that, but uh, I'm. Yeah, well, either way, north or south doesn't really particularly matter to uh, to Pip and Chisel. Uh, they're down to go either way. Also, Martin, if you did any spell burn, uh, you do get one point back now because uh, uh, it's been twenty four hours since your last spell burning. That's good. Nice. And also, if anybody burned any luck, who's a thief, I think the ninja might fall under it. Jack, I don't know if you burn any luck, you do get. If you have the same thief luck rules, you get you get your I level don't back. I think in. he does. You don't. Okay. No. Um. But yeah. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys? What do you guys feel in north, south? You can also go west if you want to check on the other side of the volcano as well. Mm. Uh. uh well, I figure. One direction seems good as another. What do you think, Jedediah? Yeah, I think You're we should go together. I, I think we should go together. I don't, I'm not, not <laughs> keen on splitting up, but uh, I don't know. Um, I, I got a feeling in my gut. I think it may, maybe the north. What, yeah. what do you reckon? Sounds good to me. Looking at the map, it looks like it's less of a steep incline. <laughs> Says Cedric. <laughs> Where you get your map from, then? Right. Got the same map as all the rest of you. <laughs> the tightness like of the, the tightness of the bunching of the lines determines how steep it is. You see. <laughs> and we might kind of be able to get a closer look at the altar as well around that way. Possibly, I don't know. True. Yeah, let's go north. All right, yeah. go north. Sounds good. So, uh, you travel north for a while. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. 
So no, no dice are rolling. This is a good sign. He's already rolled two d six earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, you're fine. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> also, Alex, I would like to check my body for leeches. <laughs> 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 And my boots for centipedes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, you take them off, just everything just comes out. Just all different <laughs> creatures. Oh, it's Pandora's box all over again. <laughs> Cedric collapses and just outside, it's like Oogie Boogie and like Nightmare Before Christmas. It's just all bugs. Um, um, every single one hates the cursed undead. <laughs> yeah. Oogie Boogie. You guys, you guys head north for a while. Um, and to the east, you hear what sounds like some group of wild cats um they seem close by but it's not like they're coming near you they're not they're not coming out of the jungle towards anything like that but probably about just out of uh out of sight you just hear sort of like sort of like i've ever heard like cougar calls or anything like that that's what it sounds like just really horrifying but yikes but it's not like any actual big cat that you guys have heard if any if any characters have come across any it's something different and deeper um but you guys sort of just hurry up your pace and head towards further north. And you guys come to what looks like a bunch of cave systems. And you guys basically arrive right over here. Um, and in these cave systems, like just outside just one mouth, you guys do see what looks like um, a couple of dinghies just sort of uh, floating in the water at the cave mouth. You see about like two or three of them. Probably two that can be used, and a third one that looks like it's been damaged by wind and the weather over time, just being smashed against the rocks too many times. I'm sorry, where do we see these? Uh, uh, oh, just elks? like right up here, basically. Right, yeah, you see like a bunch right of there, okay. yeah, basically a bunch of cave systems, and just outside one cave mouth, you guys just see like two dinghies just uh, sort of floating and tied up to what well, looks like some sort of makeshift kind of dock. So Obviously, calling like it a dock runs... is a bit is a bit much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like the sea runs into the cave. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. You sort of have like a sort of small little beach. Um, this would be a great little picnic place if this place wasn't such a hellish kind of island. Um, oh. It's it's between basically two things, two big cliffs. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different cave mouths around, but you just see those two outside the specific one. Does it look like it's a like a traveled area? Like things live in the caves, or just like it's caves? Um, from what you see, looking down at the ground, like on the sort of black sand, uh, Jack, you see that there are more footsteps, very similar to the ones you saw um, around the volcano. Uh, you see that in the sand. Um, outside of that, you don't see much else in terms of like it, this place is definitely not as heavily not not as high traffic area, but you definitely see very similar sized footsteps. Um, they're like the size of like maybe like a like. A teenager, like a, or like a preteen, like that's how big they are in terms of human feet. Like they're they're not huge. Oh, then uh, go ahead. Cedric's view is that these might be handy escape boats if we should need them. <laughs> I presume they're road, just road dinghies, right? Yeah, there's there's oars in them and okay. escape at a walking pace into the fjord. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch us now. <laughs> they would need no, to no, we're at on least the... a brisk jog to catch us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get into the volcano that way if we take a boat inwards. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Maybe well, there's an underground passage to the volcano are any of you guys checking out the cave at all or are you guys mostly just staying on the beach part like away from the cave yeah go check out the cave and yeah, why not okay yeah yeah if we're close enough to go check it out yeah yeah it's basically basically like the beach just leads into sort of like it's really hard like if you guys are new for landers i could easily explain this because there's a lot of places like that here where this sort of beach kind of goes off and sort of leads into caves um but yeah so you sort mm -hmm. of go uh, you can sort of go across the beach, and the cave is sort of half in the ocean, half on the beach. Um, and sort of, it's not quite submerged, but there is water in it. Um, and looking into it, it looks like the dinghies are probably used as, um, like, used maybe on the on the ocean, like, outside, like, on just, like, around, like, the coastline here a little bit. Um, but, like, because inside the actual cave, it looks like it's mostly just um, walkable. And you guys do see at the far end, if you guys have any torches out or if you have any infravision, you see what looks like uh, metal like metal grates at the far end of this cave mouth, like inside the cave. Hmm. 
some sort of sewage system here. Uh, Pip, Pip wants to get going to the cave and check it out. Okay. The chisel. Sounds good. Yeah. Leading the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Pip and Chisel lead the way. Does anybody follow them? Or are you guys swing for Oh, them Cedric to... and Fennec are right up oh, yeah. there. Okay. Sounds well, good. Fennec first, then Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cedric just pushes them forward. Yeah, um, pretty much. <laughs> So and Pip's going to be kind of like looking out for, you know, like traps and, and stuff like that. Seeing if uh, any of the sand is kind of disturbed in a weird way or anything like that. Yeah. Do you want to give me a check for traps? Totally. Where is my check for traps? Disable traps. Find traps. Okay. Yeah. No, nice. you, you don't see any traps. Okay, excellent. What uh, what do the grates look like? Uh, yeah, so, so big enough, may- big enough for a person. Or sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah. So you head over towards the grates. Um, and it looks like these grates are actually sort of like imagine almost like a prison door in a way, where it's like there's actually like a door made into like the, the grates part. Like you'd, it doesn't look like it's locked or anything. It's all rusted from all the moisture and water that's like, seeping into this cave. Um, but mm-hmm. you were able to open it. Um, it sort of does look like a big, I mean, to you, it probably looks like a big sort of sewage kind of thing, but you don't actually see any runoff or sewage. And there is just sort of, like I said, so this sort of this big metal door that's made out of the grates. Um, and you can see obviously through it because it's grates <laughs> that it seems like there's some sort of dark path that keeps going, uh, south, um, further inland, like, uh, beyond these grates. Cool. Pip will kind of turn around to the rest of the group. It goes deeper south. What do we think? Maybe this heads towards the lair. Cedric's like, maybe this is the route that um, Stava uses to go visit her sister, Zofina. Mm. Doesn't she live on a weird island? <clears throat> yeah, you, yeah, you guys yeah, know. Up, yeah, up she further lives up uh, here. north. Yeah, she lives up there. She has her own little villa and peninsula. I I, uh, I think we should investigate. I think this is a good back door. Yeah, yeah. Of a good back door. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> let's uh... Dixie, you're one weird yep. lizard man. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Jax, Jax, I, 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 <laughs> I could see I, Jack. I could see in your face whether you were going to make a joke or not. I could see you debating. <laughs> How tasteless. Do I I go for it or do I get banned? Um, (laughs) But yeah. um, Lizards do have cloaca. (laughs) They do. Um, So yeah, so you guys are taking uh, this passage. And it seems like the sandy sandy floor starts to turn more into the actual like volcanic rock as you go further up. And you guys also realize as you're going up it that it's starting to like actually start to go upwards. The this tunnel isn't just going straight, it's like at an angle and keeps going up and up and up. After all, you guys are probably getting somewhat tired. This is a much easier route than going up a a volcano side, but still pretty freaking steep. Um and it goes on for a while. Um Oh, Jedediah turns to Ixi and says, "Is it true that lizardmen can detect how high you are and and what the gradient of these slopes is, or is that just a myth?" <laughs> uh, <I've> heard that. <laughs> you would be surprised how often people. Confuse lizard men and dwarves. <laughs> that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on, I really think Pip was calling me, and he uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just goes up. Uh, Jack and Martin give yourself chisels like, like <laughs> chisels like no, no dwarves can't do that either. <laughs> I imagine since like, he just has scales, but he's still like you know how some dogs will have color like change color eyebrows, so they're they really expressive <laughs> eyes. He's got like darker scales above uh, above his yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a very raised eyebrow during that answer. Um. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So you guys keep going uh, for quite a while, um, probably a few hours actually. Um, 
And you guys are going further and further inland. Uh, this is just a straight shot. Like, it doesn't wind around or anything like that. It's just a straight path uh, south. Um, and then... Uh, this is a goddamn weird-ass map. So, you guys um, finally get to the end. Um, I'm assuming some of you have torches. Um, and your torches... Um, sort of glint for a while, glint metal off in front of you for a while, and, and as you get closer and closer, you see that this metal is in some giant atrium. When you guys get inside, like, get closer to it at the end of this tunnel, you guys see that this there's a gigantic sort of room at the end of the tunnel. Um, in the room in the middle, uh, there is a massive metal apparatus. Uh, there's now light coming down into this big atrium. You guys can see at the top that it sort of is like a big conical... Uh, kind of room. I will just say it. You guys are obviously in the volcano. It can. It's pretty Mother obvious to any of you guys. Um, but there what's the skylight? <laughs> that's <laughs> what's funny is that at the top you see what looks like a bunch of different metal shapes kind of moving around, um, and they seem to be refracting the light uh, from the sun straight onto this metal apparatus. Um, you can see that this metal apparatus, what it's in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll send you guys a picture of this room so you guys have a better idea of what I'm talking about because it's a little bit weird. Um, but this metal apparatus is in a bunch of water, and you guys, for the first time since you got here, feel freezing. You can tell, it's almost like if you guys have been to like a, like a, an ice rink or anything like that, where there's just cold coming off of it. Um, it's, it's like that, where it's just like, you can feel the cold coming off of the water that this metal apparatus is in. Um, and just above you, to your left... Um, you guys see like a bunch of plants. This, this seems to be some sort of like a, <laughs> a big garden inside the volcano, just directly to your left, up up a little ways. Like it seems like there's some steps from where you are to get to it. Um, and on the other side of the volcano, way up there, probably about thirty or forty feet up, you guys see what looks like a platform, um, and it it seems to go off further in. So just across there, it seems to be like a platform, and it, you also see some. Um, some more of these weird undead blue little creatures um, on that platform. And that platform seems to lead deeper into more caves or something like that. So I'll send you guys a picture. But so far, is there any confusion with what you guys are seeing here? I don't know. If that, I know I gave you guys a lot of info there. Uh, I mean, the specifics? Yes. The the overall idea? No. <laughs> yeah, I get the overall. Just Yeah, the, the overall is more that matters. <laughs> you guys are in a big-ass room. So I will... I, uh, Chisel says, <clears throat> you know, I didn't think a volcano would be this cold. I I thought the sun was supposed to warm things up, not, not make it colder. I don't know what sort of weird sorcery is going on here. here um, Ixie is miserable. Um, I posted there to the Discord. Um, if you guys look to the bottom left, that's where you guys are. Um, does that help at all with the, uh, I try to cut off, it might be a little bit confusing because I'm trying to cut off some stuff that you guys can't oh, see, okay. but does that yeah. make sense? You guys are down and... below 5.3, basically. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Okay. Uh, and I'll post it to the Okay, in that little, anybody. like, tunnel, in that kind of little tunnel there where it's at the very bottom yes. where it's that blank white spot kind of yeah, area? Yeah, that's basically where you guys are. Okay, cool. Uh, now 5.1a, that's where we saw the plants. Up, up the way up there. Uh, you said there were like no, oh, five, oh, three. Five, three. Five, yeah, five three, three okay, is where the pl yeah. Cool. And um, cool. Yeah. And is that five two is like a? That's the, the that's, apparatus. That's the metal apparatus. Is it like a structure. Yeah, is it's it like a, a building as well. Yeah, that's that that structure is like super tall. Um, I should say I said forty feet. I think I think I think five one a is actually like eighty feet up. Um, and that structure itself is like probably like about half that size. So it's about 40 feet. It's a giant one. You see that you can well, see that it's submerged in water. The scale yeah. square looks like that structure is like 200. Oh, actually, no, it tall. is. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's 200 feet. <laughs> yeah. <tall>. yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus okay. Christ. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Sorry. Makes sense. It's like okay. a whole ass like wizard's tower. Jeez. Yeah. Sorry. Volcano. I thought, inside I, a volcano. I, under a skylight. <laughs> I this read is that the as most five evil feet, villain yeah. shit on the <laughs> yeah. planet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah big and there's, time. <laughs> and those, you see all those shapes there that at the top, like right under five one. Those are all sort of different yeah. metal things that are huge that are all sort of moving around in the air, beaming light down onto the structure, and it's just going like whoa, 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 um, and it seems hmm. to be being powered. But yeah, 
So they're just like kind of seemingly magically suspended and kind of orbiting one another. Yeah, and stuff, yeah, basically. they're 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 moving around, orbiting, and sort of you can see that they're changing their shape. They're almost like liquid metal. They're changing their shape to oh, have shit. the sun beam down off of them onto this big structure down at the bottom of the, uh, the volcano. I don't want to deal with no T one thousand here. Okay, yeah. and I will say just across, they all merge together. <laughs> right across from you guys are as well. You guys can see that there's more plants on the other side. There's another garden at the bottom there. So you see where there's five three, parallel to that. Yeah. There's another one or opposite to that. I mean, yeah. Does it look like that. we could set those on fire if we wanted to? Is there enough kind of mass there? Maybe some trees, bit of wood. The plants. Hmm. Um, I would say no because the plants look like they are very well fed with water and that sort of thing, and they're also all very green and lush. Um, and they're also yeah, there's not much hmm. wood on these; they're mostly just big sort of plants. Well, I'm hmm. sort of wondering not if we sort of, yeah, but if we put like a load of lamp oil on them or something, <laughs> because they're green. I'm not saying we should do this right now, but because they're green, <laughs> that would that would create a lot of smoke, and smoke is obviously something that light can't pass through. So I was just sort of. Just put, putting that one in the back pocket for later. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Point. No, it's totally, it's totally fair. I more meant like that. I think oil could totally work. I more meant if you if you try to do the classic RPG thing of like I just put a torch to it, nothing's gonna happen. Is where I was saying yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you if... telling me that touching fire to a tree isn't just gonna light it yeah. up? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> My friend, I have played Minecraft. I can, I have seen how Come on, even man. the slightest yeah. flame <laughs> will cause an entire tree to burst into flame. Yeah. Yeah. Minecraft does have the of course. Most I brought my bucket of trees. magma with me. My <laughs> 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 iron bucket. Bucket of magma. You Filled brought a bucket of magma rock. into a volcano. <laughs> yeah, we found it outside. <laughs> Want to return <laughs> to the <laughs> owner? <laughs> is it is it magma at the floor of this volcano? Like it's this thing looks like it's submerged in something, or is it water? Just, it's, it's really yeah. dark. There is water. Let me just see here. I mean, um, XE, if we're within sixty feet of it, XC does have infravision, so he does. Okay, you know what? Well, I think um, it's probably really hard because of how cold this water is. But you can see XC underneath all that water that goes very deep. You see just every once in a while, little little um, pockets of heat show up in your infravision. Um, okay. Yeah, but it's right, very so it deep below the frigid over top water. Of some kind of magma, yeah. Yeah, and I would say if you have infravision as well, sort of looking through, you can see that the this big this big uh, metal um, building uh, at the bottom sort of has like a gigantic turbine that's spinning in the water. Um, yeah. This really is like a super villain fucking. <laughs> really? Yeah, big time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like straight out of a Dr. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Evil vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah, is straight up. Of a, one of the Pierce Brosnan and James Bond movies. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if there are sharks in that water, <laughs> with lasers. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we going to do? We... Are we going to destroy it or are we going to get in it? Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, do we want to try to get inside that thing? Or does it have any like apparent doors or entrances to it? Like, is it more like, is it actually a building or is it just some kind of large it's a big structure. device that has like yeah. entries and stuff on um, it? Um, I think from where you are, it's hard to actually see any way into this thing. It doesn't seem to be an obvious like thing that you can enter, for at least from where you are. Um, it seems like it's more just some sort of giant piece of machinery that's the size of a building. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, what if we get into the gardens and we can get a little bit more elevation? We might be able to see something more. And yeah, Alex, I mean, a quick good. question. So, because the the uh the picture isn't super clear. Yep. Um. So does does the kind of the the plant life ring around, or is it just trenches? Um. Like uh. Sorry. One I'm just basically my question is so. Five three. Does it go all the way around the interior, um, or is that just a? Uh, is yeah. it in like little sections? Uh, it's it's yeah. like um it it seems to be um 
it seems to be the entire like um top part of that like it's not on the sides like it seems to be sort of almost like um you know like plants that you'd have in your in maybe your room where you put them like on the ceiling and they sort of like overhanging like but like yeah. there's nothing on the bottom of it it's just like the top and then some overhang it's kind of like that where it's like it's just basically a big stone slab that you guys have, have to kind of like climb up to there's probably like a few ladders or even stairs here and there to get up there um but yeah once from what you can tell it looks like the entire floor um of that of of five three looks like it's covered in vegetation it doesn't seem like there's anything that's not covered in vegetation does that answer your question at all um kind of but also no (laughs) the top like what's the top down view of this yeah is it is it like like? it's five three if you look down a ring or is it oh i see you're saying yeah uh no it looks like it's just on your side and then it sort of cuts off and the middle okay. seems to be um just all frigid water and the and the big thing and then on the other side again it's sort of like mirrored where it's another big platform it's like a protrusion yeah the... yeah yeah okay um oh also actually this will help quite a bit because uh I think I think you guys can see around. This thing's giant, but I think you guys can see around it. I'll send you guys another picture. It's also, it must be fairly bright in here if the yeah, no, things it's, are reflecting it's, right. It's super light, bright. bright so. um, uh, sorry, one second. My computer does this thing where it doesn't want to actually do the snipping tool anymore, or like the uh, <laughs> the snip thing. So one second. You use uh, Win Shift S. Yeah, Win Shift. Yeah, Win Shift S. And then for some reason, sometimes it just does not want to work. I think you've been having a bunch of keyboard problems lately, though. Yeah, I think. It does it once for sometimes, and then doesn't work after that. I'm just I'm just gonna send you guys another picture real quick. Uh. All right. Uh, on the other side you guys see what looks like a massive cavern once you guys are looking around a little bit no also post that to the uh the twitch chat for anybody wants to see that because there's enough light in here i think it makes sense you guys can see that yeah so I think coming down here has been really helpful to get an idea of the layout. But do we want to try to like make our way in from the bottom here? Or do we want to try to go back in from the top now that we know what's down here? And we know we have an escape route out the bottom as well. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go in through of... the skylight and then, you know, maybe, I don't know. In terms of time, just so you guys, just so you guys are aware, because like like John said, there's no real time on you guys here to do this. Um, you guys could make it back to the volcano at the top. It would probably be the end of the day when you get back to the top of it and come down. Like well, you guys will be in the volcano when it's nighttime. Excuse me, if you do it that way. Um, oh. That's not me saying anything about it being a problem. That's more me just letting you know. You guys, I want to make sure you guys understand how much time is passing as you guys are moving around a lot. Um, and mm-hmm. to go back the tunnel you came from and then go back overland towards the volcano to the top, you guys will probably end up scaling down this volcano around like probably 7 or 8 p.m. Because it took a few hours to go up this tunnel, to a few hours back, all that sort of stuff. So. Does Chris still have Featherfall? She does. What? How how high of a roll would you need to let us Featherfall down from the top? I wonder. Ooh, I don't know. Quite a quite a good one, I think. So. <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm All right, everybody, jump. But... Now cast Featherfall. <laughs> no, 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 Wait, no. other way around. <laughs> As we fall. Yeah, Wait, the... doesn't the spell determine how many people based on the success of the roll? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, 18 to 19 is caster plus 3. 20 to 23 is caster plus 6, which, I mean, that would only lose one, wouldn't it? And a couple of hilings. <laughs> they could stay there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep, so maximum of six plus caster. Um, What's that, a 19? Uh, so 20 to 23 is uh, oh, my caster. God. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds like fun. I mean, don't forget, yeah, you do have good. four rerolls from, uh, from oh, the yeah. generous PT and Tim. Ooh. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. We wanted to Ocean's Eleven it down through the, or I guess that's honestly Mission Impossible. It that is Mission Impossible. You guys yeah. are, you guys yeah. are, yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. If we, if we were planning, so Featherfall, you'd obviously normally use in a kind of very much shit. We've just fall, fallen off the side of a cliff. Let's cast it. But what if three of us were to grab on to another person? Could we additionally lower somebody else down that way? Maybe. Yeah, I mean I think I think it's totally pound who is doing it. I I think the stronger characters could easily do that, I guess, to an extent. Yeah. Um because you'd probably that is some fucked up physics, Martin. Um, yeah, <laughs> try to, try to, I I think you could do that because, but you would still need to be strong enough to hold onto the person because they're still trying mm. to like fall. I think yeah. I think the weakest person or trying to hold somebody. First. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I I think that could work. Because um, like yeah, if you're trying to like normally the feather falls like right, it puts you down super gently. Yeah, but yeah. If but you're trying to you're do this, be, a like, rock, we're that... ready to go. <laughs> yeah. We're prepared to you know hit the ground like you yeah. jumped off of a low cliff or something. Yeah. Like ready to parkour it when you hit the ground. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Sounds fun. Well, where right. are we trying to aim for is the other question. So well, only well, I have um, a thought that Who cares? Fly. Let's just jump. <laughs> we just you see that really <laughs> sharp pointy bit on top of the machine in the middle? Yeah. yeah. The, the thing that's that that's about fifty feet. That's gonna be yeah, we all just shish go <laughs> oh, the top. On top. <laughs> the final thing she needed for this uh this big thing is just all yeah, you guys doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. Shish by themselves. It's just a repeat of the climbing <laughs> incident again. <laughs> yeah, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> um I will say that platform is about thirty feet, like, like around the. It's like a giant square, and that one's not too far down. If you guys wanted to go for that, in fact, you guys. Yeah, might I was have thinking we should go for five one a. Yeah. Because yeah, so you could that do that. Looks like it might lead somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I will also say, if anybody, while you guys are here, are testing the water at all, the water is just above freezing, so you won't die going into it, but. It will suck a lot of heat out of your body. Actually, in fact, Ixy, you could possibly die. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, I'm not going to be that As much of a dick. Know, lizard yeah. men work like actual lizards. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to be that much of a dick. Um, but I will, <laughs> I will let you guys know, like, in terms of mechanics, if you guys do end up in the water, you guys are going to start losing stamina per round if you guys fail fortitude saves. Mm. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah. And also, I don't want to, like, you know, domineer the planning or anything here. I just thought that... No. I, I, what know. would be our options coming up from the bottom here? We have to do a lot of climbing, presumably. You do a lot of climbing. Um, we would, yeah, or have to like go through the water or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we could we could carry one of those rowboats back down and through the cave and get across. I guess if we really wanted to, that's another option. But we if might we get really spotted. wanted to, yeah, yeah, because there's that cave that's on the other across spot the of land mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, actually, I don't think um, Dan was here for the. I did. Uh, oh. I did hear all that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm Thank just gonna draw this on the technology. notes page, though. <laughs> so it's like just a, a top down kind of cross section of yeah. the volcano. So I'll just. Uh, I'll switch this to the to the notes real quick. Yeah. You guys should be able to move on your own as well. I was so. Mm -hmm. And I think the cave comes out like here, right? Where I put this X. Yeah. Yeah. So. This is like the top down, and then I guess the machine is here in the middle. Yeah. And then the other cave okay. leads out somewhere on this side of the land. Well, I think I, so, so I think somehow that five five one a and the other side of the cave are connected. Um, oh, I guess uh, that's logical. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, so I, I like the going up and around and jumping off of a cliff idea. <laughs> you guys all just want to jump off cliffs. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to enter by base jumping. Our, our call to the void is very strong, okay? <laughs> fair, fair. We're not known for making good decisions so far. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Good decisions. That's what DCC is known for, right? Yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> it's going for that wacky Gonzo <laughs> gameplay and wacky also Gonzo e- good decisions. Also, extremely serious decision making. Um, really, just against the system mechanics and the tables and stuff. <laughs> Because, I mean, everyone rolls 20s, right? All the time. All the time. <laughs> Statistically, you have like a 40% chance of rolling a 20, so... Yeah. yeah. And oh, uh, wow. even more than that when you, uh, when you have four re-rolls, so... You can... <laughs> I think it's still much lower. Than <laughs> yeah. <that>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's do this. All right. Yeah, let's go. Let's head... So you guys are yeah. leaving and then coming back around. Um, We're going to do a vertical I, entry. I will say, um, if you guys are doing that, just in case you want to, you do have a chance if you want to go check out the men here with the uh, with the bird on it. You guys can do that if you do feel like it. Um, if not, you guys can just sort of jump off the 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 cliff uh, when you guys get there. So it's up to you guys which one you want to do. Um, yeah. So. I mean, I'm I'm curious about the bird, but guys, don't. <laughs> Don't don't be behooven to my obsession. With, yeah, and I, I'm not pushing you to do either either thing. I'm just like I'm just making sure you guys understand what you guys can do. Um, mm-hmm. But if you guys want to just go for the jump, then we'll just sort of uh, fast forward through this part of you guys going back around, and then we'll do the jump, and we'll see where the fuck you guys end up. Um. <laughs> uh, Have you seen called? the movie Triple X? I mean, sorry, the stage play Triple X. <laughs> <laughs> just i don't know this reminds me of that somehow yeah it's got uh, vin whale oil as the main character <laughs> <laughs> oh that was very funny yeah. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dumb <laughs> All right, uh, I'm I'm up for uh, I'm up for just going for the jump, but we can check it out if people want to do that. Either way, now let's go for the jump. <clears throat> All right, going for the yeah. jump. All right, so you guys head back the way you came. You go back through the grate, uh, past those things, and you guys start climbing through the mountain range to get to the top of the volcano. Um, you guys. Uh, don't come across anything too bad. Um, you guys sort of take your time, use rope and all those other things to be safe getting up there. Um, and now you guys are at the top of the volcano. Um, now the like once again, once it start, once the sun has lowered, um, all this energy sort of wrapped up in this um, big sort of skylight, as you guys called it, uh, blasts off into the night sky. Um, seems like some sort of excess energy is going off. Uh, and, so, and again, lights up the sky for you guys, makes it kind of easy for you guys to sort of see your steps for a little bit and then goes away. Um, and now you guys are looking down. Um, probably a few of you might have some vertigo <laughs> as you guys are seeing how fucking deep down uh, this volcano is. Um, and the big sort of metal things that were the that were moving around the liquid metal geometri- geometrical shapes have sort of moved away from this big skylight and have started going down um, towards different parts of the cave. Um, so yeah, so uh, Martin, I guess we'll start with your spell casting to see if you can do this. Um, so I looked it up. up. With Sorry. four rerolls, you have an eighteen percent chance of rolling a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack. We've, we've all got some fleeting luck, so that's yeah. true. Um, that is true. This might be a good time to use it. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got. Unless Martin rolls three. a one. In which yeah, case, so unless uh, Martin rolls a one, but he can reroll and stop that from happening, which is yeah, good. That's yeah. true. Um, oh, have we got another Moon Knight tonight? Is it? Is this? Is oh yes, I forgot. Let's see. What is the Moon Cycle today? And uh, and from our angle, can we see the bird's lair at all? Yeah. Um, from where you are, you guys can look down. Um, the moon that comes up is just a singular singular red moon. Um, the massive bird animates um, and flies off um, towards what looks like um, the Neutral Sisters' villa. Um and you guys see now down on the men here, like I said, you can see bear now. It's a, it's basically like a big bowl that the creature stays in. Um, and around it are like uh, several, let's see here, several different like totems around it. Uh, six to be, uh, oh, sorry, uh, seven. Seven sort of totems that are just around the men uh, the, the men here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically what you see. It's basically a big bowl, seven totems around it, and the bird has now animated and flown off. Towards uh, the neutral sisters' villa. 
so no sign of Strava down there, or are we kind of too far away to see something uh, like that? No, you're not too far away at all. You're actually closer than you guys were before, and you're looking down on it. Oh, okay. Um, no, there, there's no creatures around it, and you don't see you don't see Strava. Um, though I will say, if you guys are looking down at the volcano at all, for anybody who's doing that while others are looking at the uh, the the, moon, uh, the men here, um, you guys do see more of those little bald blue creatures running around down below. You see the liquid metal um, creatures are sort of making roads and pathways for them, like across different parts of the volcano for them to get to, like fast little areas. They seem to be sort of like doing maintenance on the uh, on the big machine, that sort of thing. But yeah. Hmm. That's pretty wild. <laughs> so Chris will say, well, well, is it everybody roped up and ready? <laughs> yeah. I think mean, that's as ready as they're going to be, yeah. apparently. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, that was hey, a realistic then. pause. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was, like, no, that was that perfect. Was character that was sure. that was really perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I pull out the the rope and start tying off. I hand it to Chisel, and he passes it to whoever else wants to tie off. <laughs> Are we doing the buddy yeah, system here? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> it served us so well last time. <laughs> well, we all Did survived it? because of the buddy system on the climb down. Yeah. Right. So when you guys are falling, like, are you guys aiming for the platform or are you guys aiming for that cave, the massive cave all the way down below? Like, what are you guys sort of trying to go for? What was the plan after? Oh, was there was no plan after. There's no plan. Okay. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I was aiming for 518. 518. Okay. Yeah, so this yeah. is the platform. It's not too far. Okay. How Wherever the does... wind takes us. <laughs> yeah. How long does My that is... last? Just until you touch the ground or like some number of rounds? Uh, I, I think it depends on how strong you cast it. Correct, Martin, if you're looking at the spell? Uh, it says on the main heading it's one round per caster level or until landing. Yeah, I mean, that's... Okay, that, so in this case, yeah. it's probably going to be until Un landing. Until landing, then. yeah. 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 So we don't have the option of like making it to the, the first platform and then being like, fuck this and jumping. Because yeah. You're just jumping it. I suppose it depends, doesn't it? I mean, we could maybe cast it again if we're... Yeah, oh, yeah that's true. Yeah, I mean, you can cast see. it unlimited times as long as you don't lose it, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, we need to get from A to B, so you best cast Featherfall, and then we'll get hit with a hammer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this is, this is where I counterspell it, like, while you guys are in the air, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic yeah, Alex. I'm done with this that campaign. Be, oh, <laughs> so, that so funny. <laughs> <laughs> So where can we actually jump through here? Do we have to, like, break a hole in the... No, 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 because that's all basically open to sort of give you an idea. Like, there's a lot of, like, beams going to that sort of skylight okay, thing, but it's not, okay, like, an okay. actual glass thing holding it above. Gotcha. I should, sorry, it is open to the sky. It's just, like... So the middle part's more, like, kind of a lens than it is, yeah. like, an yeah. actual cover. Okay. Yeah. Are we ready, then? Where are we aiming for? The, that platform. 5-1-A. <laughs> platform 5-1-A. <laughs> Into the right. bushes. All right, Don't are, do that. are, are you spell burning at all, by the way? Because you got to call it beforehand. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> if there was a time to spell burn, Martin, it is now. <laughs> it is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to work out the right number of things. Yeah, yeah. let's get rid of. Oh man. Um, and you guys do have how much fleeing luck later? between you guys? How much fleeing luck do you guys? Yeah, have? I have three. At least six. Uh, I have three. Now, question. If he rolls a one, he can, he can, he can reroll. Luck. He, now, do we still I'm, lose our fleeting no, luck? No, I'm not he, gonna, no. I'm not going to. No. I'm not. If, if okay. people are going to give bits, I'm not going to be such a dick that I go, no, you'll lose it. Fair roll. I'm, I'm, it's, <laughs> it's a nice full reroll as if you didn't roll the one at all. I like all it. Right, so, what's the target? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got. Um, I have three fleeting luck. Now, with so, yeah, with that I said, guys, luck. I will say this: um, PT did give three hundred bits. You guys can make that automatically a crit if you want to use up all three. And you still have one. You have still have one reroll left no. over. What do we? Yeah. What do we need here to to get the number we need? How do you get the spell effect? So twenty, 20. gives us caster, caster, and six additional creatures fall at a rate of fifty foot per round. They take no damage if they land before the spell expires. Otherwise, they suffer half damage, and are allowed a fort save DC ten plus one for each twenty foot fallen to avoid all damage. So, I think so we want to get a twenty. That's the minimum to get. Is yeah. a twenty? Well, how many? Yeah. Other, how many other are you? Oh. There's, there's oh, ten well, of you, aren't there? There's six. Oh no, yeah, there's yeah, yeah ten with the two hirelings. Oh yeah, yeah. 
So um, if we tie, so that's, tie together. It, yeah, it depends how, how you're ruling the tied together, whether because we're doing this on purpose, it's e it's okay, or whether it, there's a chance, a higher chance of... Well, I think if you get a 20 and there's seven of you out of 10 that are feather fault, I feel like that's strong enough to hopefully hold them. I would probably give you maybe a strength check here and there for like maybe half damage on the hirelings or whoever's not getting the feather fall, but like... Um, I think that's enough of you that are able to sort of do the buy system. You guys are taking precautions, and I hate when players take precautions and then it just gets thrown out the window just because of a bad roll. So I do think there'll be some leniency there, but I will still say there is a chance that somebody gets hurt if they don't have Featherfall cast on them. But I'm, I won't say more than that, really. We'll have to see how the yeah. uh, the dice goes. That's that's totally fair. All right. What's your modifier, Martin? Uh, so got a plus five, so I'm going to cast it through my owl. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, so if I spell burn, uh, well, let's say five, I mean... It's plus ten. And we've got a re-roll. That's a good place to start. Do you even need spell burn that much? I do, guess do, 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 do. Yeah, dude, you that's get, what I'm wondering, uh, You just too. bring yourself later. You, got, you guys uh, have, like, 11 yeah. fleeing luck between you, don't you? You have, like... I, oh, wow. I, I, like yeah, I have three between, between my characters. How, yeah. how many do other people have? Yeah, we have like eleven and like and four rerolls. So re I think I yeah. So yeah. I think we're okay. Maybe, maybe spellburn's not necessary. Yeah. 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 I'll spellburn too, just for the just for the, the sake hell of, of it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Just because I got a need. <laughs> yeah. <I've gotta> <laughs> Wait, is twenty three the is twenty to twenty three the highest bracket for that spell? No, three two. Well, no, three two plus. Then then it goes to twenty four, and then the the effects only affect the caster. I'm, 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 I'll, yeah. I'll say this right now, Martin. I'm not going to be a dick. I think if you get yeah. high enough to get that, I'll let you choose the lower spell that works better. I'm yeah, not yeah, going to yeah. be a complete dick here. <laughs> well, no, I'm too it good at this, and the effect is worse. <laughs> I, I think if this was a combat yeah, spell, yeah. I would be a little bit less lenient because you're in the middle of combat and you can't control the magic. But you guys yeah. have nothing but time right now to like just get yourself situated. So I'm not going to be a dick about it. All right, Martin, give right. us that roll. I think we've been Here blue we balling everybody watching for long enough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. no. It was like, just roll, jump off the cliff. Just do already. something. <laughs> All right. That's good. So it's got an extra plus nice. one on there. Okay. So yeah, that's that's good. Good. burn three. I'll give you a fleeting luck. Oh, no, hang on a minute. So I've got, I've got one for the owl that's not on there, and so. there's the two spell burns. So that's 19 so far. So take, oh, take my my luck. it was my plan. So yeah. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> oh, wait, did you cast Find wow. Familiar? Oh god, I did, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. It's all I good. begin with an F. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to? We'll, we'll keep the seventeen, uh, or like the I guess the twenty. But do you want to just yeah. cast the one again so I can just click on it to quickly uh, just yeah, sure. Read see, read what you get. Deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're keeping oh, sorry, no, sorry. You got a seven. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, okay, Let's see here. Come on. Oh, that'll do. There we are. That's the same effect. <laughs> Uh, nice. oh, you, you can also just, I was just gonna click on the little button there and it just brings up the spell. Yeah, if you just click that, you can bring up the whole data. Uh, <laughs> the caster and six additional right. creatures fall away 50 feet around. They don't know damage if they land before the spell expires, otherwise, they suffer half damage and a lot of fort save to avoid all damage. Yeah, okay, you know what? That seems fair. Um, and there's seven of you out of ten. Um, I, I'm just gonna say, um, you, uh, you burned a lot there. You all jump off as you cast a spell. Nothing but a uh, just <laughs> nothing but putting your life into the hands of uh, of the spellcaster, um, and you guys start falling. Um, what three people did you not cast on? I'm assuming two of the hirelings and one PC. A chisel. I'll say chisel can be one of the PCs. Okay. The PC that doesn't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> just because uh, he's got some hit points. That's, okay. That's gonna ask the most hit points. <laughs> just base <laughs> jumping. Night, night, night. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm gonna do because it's it's all you guys. Um, uh -huh. Jack, uh, it's instead of fort save DC ten, I'm gonna make the D, the fort save a DC five to avoid okay. all damage. Um, so we want to just roll for those two hirelings and chisel. Same for you. Fortitude yeah. save. Fortitude. DC, cool. Yeah. DC five. All right, he's good. Oh, baby. Chisel's good. Nice. Yep. Um, for uh, Cooper's good. And Terry's good. Yeah, so you guys all okay. jump off, and you are able to sort of slow your descent. You grab the ones who are falling a bit higher, uh, and then you guys just all hit the platform at the same time. 
Um, <laughs> which <I'm just> like, <laughs> I, I feel like it, it would be cool superhero landing, except you guys are all having the bike system on, so you guys all are like tied up with rope and stuff, so you guys are sort of just yeah. at the same time. A little and, and you're a little bit tangled up, up like, a little bit. One person just falls over. Um, I don't think there's anything elegant about how these idiots are landing. <laughs> no. Yeah. I just like try not to roll an ankle as hard yeah, as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Everybody just rolls their ankles. Oh. <laughs> and they're just all Chisel is like, like flapping his ah. arms all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That was that was great, guys. Um, yeah. So you guys um, are now on that platform. Um, you guys untie yourself pretty quickly. Um, and one quick second here. Oh, you guys are lucky. Um, yeah. So you guys are on this platform, um, and you guys can see um, going to the right of this platform to basically like um, uh, like further into the cave. I'll, I'll, you guys see two tunnels. So there's a platform, you cut, and you guys saw like the platform leads off somewhere. Basically, you guys see a tunnel that goes up and a tunnel that goes down. I want to make one unimportant clarification first, though, which is that Doyle, before doing this, donned his fine clothes, which, if you remember, was, I think, a tuxedo. <laughs> 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 you want to die classy is he, if is you he, did. Is he wearing, like, a ninja mask as well? With <laughs> oh, the, the mask is still on. Yeah, oh, my like, God. Yeah, yeah. That's a look. A fucking ninja mask and tuxedo. Oh, he did the fucking James Bond. I just really, exactly, God damn yeah. it. I thought I think he meant, like, oh, if he's going to die, he's gonna, he wants to look good doing it. No, no, he's it, doing the Go James full Bond, James yeah. Bond as you guys fucking... Dive He's gonna land on a surfboard and you know. <laughs> yeah, and terrible CGI. <laughs> Classic. <yeah. laughs> yeah. And then um, all of a sudden he'll be Roger. He'll be Roger Moore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, he will like run towards one of the walls though immediately and try to cloak himself in shadow Sounds as his good. ninja instincts kick in. Awesome. You know what, guys? This is actually a perfect time to take a quick sort of five minute break. Grab some coffee, tea, drinks, bathroom, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Um, everyone in the chat will be back in about five minutes and we'll see where our, I don't want to call you guys heroes, but our characters, uh, yeah. where they go. No <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll be back in about Cowards. five minutes, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Discreet idiots. <laughs> <laughs> John's friend, who said a very nice compliment, who said, I look... What do you, what do you say, John? What was the exact, uh, phrasing? Oh, that you look like, um... Like Matt Mercer, if he was forced to grow up living under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to John, I was like, "Wow, he's very Matt Mercer. I'll take it. Like that's uh, mm -hmm. that's that's a good compliment." <laughs> I take it when you get him, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, okay. Jack's back, and then we can um, we can get back into this. All right, guys. Um, so, like I said, you have a tunnel that leads down and a tunnel that leads up, just off of this uh, platform here. Um, so far, it seems like the different creatures that are below you and probably a few above you have not seen you, uh, yet. I think that the route up is just a door coming in. We probably don't need that. We can just focus on getting deeper in. Yes, I wouldn't want to discover that there was actually just a door we could have taken and walked <laughs> down. I mean... <laughs> Clearly she's been I'm levitating so in and out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. Yep. Yeah, so you guys want to head down? Yeah, I think so. Probably okay. Sounds idea. good. So, um, let's see here. So you guys head down what is a zigzagging tunnel for a while. It's just stairs that keep going down and down and down, and they keep going like a zigzag. Um, and. Let's just see here real quick. Well, you guys are lucky. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you guys keep going down uh, the stairs for a while. Um, and until eventually uh, the zigzags uh, end. And you are brought down to what is now a, a, another tunnel. And that keeps going uh, right further deeper into the rock. Um, it looks like at the end of the tunnel it seems to open up. Probably about 80 feet away from you. Uh, you can't really see what's in that room that opens up, but you can tell that it there's light coming from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's got a light. <laughs> and it's probably worthy of investigation thereby. 
<laughs> well, I'm sure Agreed. nobody would have imagined us uh, coming down that way, so, uh, yeah. Oh, you think we got the element of surprise? Okay. Um... So Pip's gonna try to sneak a little bit closer to this uh, the light source. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. So yes, yeah, so you uh, did you did you want to sneak ahead of the group, um, Pip? Or yeah, you sneak, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to give me a sure. sneak soundly? Big time. That's what I was born to do. I think Doyle will also come up behind him. Okay. <laughs> um. Got an an eleven. Yep, yeah, that's good enough. And uh, Doyle, do you want to give me a sneak something as well? Okay, yep. Yeah. So you guys both... Nice. You guys just sort of have the group stay back a little bit, and you guys go on ahead. Um, and do you guys want to both give me intelligence checks? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Te- <laughs> Technically, he has some intelligence. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, okay. So you guys go. All right. Well, oh, minus two to intelligence. Holy shit. All right. Yeah. So you guys both see this. You guys both catch yourselves at the same time as you're about to like sort of look into uh, this this atrium. Uh, You see down at like foot level, it looks like there's some sort of metal um, sensor. I would say both of you with having a background with sort of like sneaky shit that you can tell what this is. It looks like a kind of tripwire. But. From what you can tell from, like, where the, like, I guess the, um, where the trip bar seems to lead to, you see that it has kind of, like, a copper wire that goes up, up the wall, and you see that it, it, um, the copper wire leads to what looks like two big sort of, like, light bulbs. Um, it looks like it's not so much a trip wire for a trap, but one that will just set off, like, lights when you walk in. Interesting. So it's like a pressure plate that leads to like a copper wire. That it's leads more to like a, it's that... more like a sensor. It's more like if your foot or anything passes through that. It's kind of like a, almost like a ah. motion motion sensor kind mm. of thing. Um, I would Interesting. say. I'm, I'm mostly saying just because you guys, I feel, might have dealt with stuff in the sort of pulpy world that you might have seen somebody with in similar the... kind of instruments in terms of this sort of stuff. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't somewhat somewhat seem like a trap, and seems more just like. A thing you might see in a noble's house to like just so they don't have to like light candles or anything like that. It sort of seems to light up the area. So you guys are able to sort of enter a little bit and like are able to put your feet over without actually activating the sensor if you guys want to to get a better look inside the room. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what Pip yeah. is doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you guys will do that, but you sort of stay just like try and staying like within like the darkness of the of the uh, tunnel as much as you can. You guys look into the room and you are are you are met by a bunch of very loud machinery on one side of the room um, uh, to like to the right. Um, this big machinery um, has two big giant um, vats made of glass. In one vat, it looks like opalescent kind of like liquid silver. And the other vat next to it has what looks like crimson kind of blood like liquid. Um, at the bottom of this, like sort of like in the front, there are what looks like almost like hospital beds sort of, um, on this machinery and strapped to, like these four hospital beds. You see what look like goldlings, um, just sort of strapped into, into these beds. And you see two little, um, two more of these golden like creatures that are sort of bluish gray. Um, you see now that they're closer, they have these really bright blue eyes, almost as if they have almost like, like lights coming out of them. They have lamprey like mouths. Um, and you see that they're both wearing lab coats. Um, and they're just uh, in putting different needles uh, from the machinery into these goldlings. And you're seeing, in a few minutes, uh, depending on how long you're watching for, you start to see that the gold starts to leave the body, and it starts to become replaced with bluish, grayish skin colors. Um, and you start to see that they start to change and form into what looks like <laughs> those creatures that you guys saw around the men here the other night. How many of the uh, the the creepy goldlings are there? Uh, there's four like strapped. The, the... There's four strapped to the this machinery, um, and there's two. Uh, wh- yeah. Two administering. Yeah, to two them? and two. What two? Kinda... Two, uh, two of them with adorable little uh, lab coats on. Oh, adorable that's... little lab coats, but also oh, more. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have, like lamprey like mouths, like a like a leech with like. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's totally Rose of not Rose. disturbing at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the lab coats. Uh, d- people kind of 
look over to Ninja and uh, <clears throat> say, you know, there's two of them, two of us. Let's, let's do our thing. And uh, he's going to start, like, creeping over <laughs> towards one. <laughs> yeah, and, then not, and not look back. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he's, he, he thinks uh, Doyle's fully in on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he's creeping up on maybe the one on the left, we'll say. Sounds good. And what about Doyle, uh, Jack? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, once, uh, once Pip starts creeping up, Doyle, like, goes like, <laughs> goes towards the other one. Amazing. So yeah, you guys can the be num- uh, backstab. Two numbers in quick succession really <laughs> yeah. fucked him up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys uh, can give me your backstab just... rolls. Huh, that's funny. Backstab is the one th- Yeah, you just add that to your attack roll, basically. Uh, that's pretty funny. Okay, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. And you're spending luck. Mm. Uh, Pip, you just clicked on your luck for some reason. Are you spending luck? Oh, did I? Yeah. If you're- twice. Huh, really? Yeah. It's fine. If you're, if you're not spending luck, luck it's, it's fine. I was just saying that. Oh, it, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. I. Uh, that's weird. That's... Uh... I don't, okay, that's really weird. <laughs> so that's a backstab. Um, I mean, I just love that Doyle's gonna stare like completely emotionless <laughs> through the mask and just yeah. Um, <laughs> and not really understanding what he's done. <laughs> so Pip, what's the what's the total attack uh, that you? Fif- Fifteen. Fifteen is the actual the attack that go in. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, so you guys are both gonna hit. Um, and you're both gonna because you backstab you crit. If you guys want to roll on your back on your crit tables, you guys can. But I'm also just gonna say these guys are just like fucking nerds, um, and you're able to <laughs> immediately just murder them uh, with your backstabs. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get him with the garage, yeah, and just kind of like saw into his neck a little bit, and the, the yeah. blood, you, you blood go sprays like, all over the left coat as you just sort of do that. Um, <laughs> makes a horrible death rattle. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, and Jack, you, you have it with a dagger, so you sort of stab him. Oh, it's, it's thrown. Doyle realized that he was too far behind. Uh, <laughs> he, so he throws, throws it. the dagger. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just immediately just sort of like uh, get his vocal cords, and they both go down dead. Um, the four goldlings that are being turned into these sort of bluish white creatures or bluish grayish creatures are just sort of writhing um, and like seem to be having some sort of like seizure like on their on their beds. Uh, but they are strapped down. Um, what color is the blood that comes out of these ones? Uh, it's sort of like a, it's sort of like an opalescent silver mixed with like a sort of, but it's like darker. It's like it's been mixed with like reddish brown, um, and that's ah. what comes out of them. Doyle's confused at that, but he picks his dagger up. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, Pip would probably also be somewhat confused <laughs> by that. He's not exactly the brightest uh, either, <clears throat> but. Uh... Yeah, interesting. Uh, Pip says, well, should we just go back and get the others? It looks like uh, there's no one else here. Is this like a giant room? How big is this room? This room, um, it's it's pr- it's pretty big. I mean, it's, it's probably like maybe um, 70 feet across. Okay, pretty big. Yeah. Like the machinery, the machinery no. is gigantic. It has like two big vats of liquid on it and stuff. Yeah, if nobody else uh, has kind of shown themselves after we did this, uh, Pip says I'm gonna I'm gonna go run back and get the others, and he's gonna go do that. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Um, Bill tucks his dagger back into his cummerbund. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you do that. Uh, you grab the other group. And you guys sort of come back into this room. The other the other stuff in this room now that like it's not like the main stuff you guys are focusing on when there's creatures here is that there's a bunch of different things. There's like what looks like books in languages that you guys don't speak, um, on different scientific equipment like or th- on different scientific experiments. There's scientific equipment all over the place, like vials and different tools, some very creepy, like different very thin blades and scalpels and that sort of thing. There's just a whole slew of things in here. Um, what seems to be for like experimentation. 
are any of the uh, like blades or scalpels big enough that they would serve as like a combat weapon? Yeah, um, I would. I would say you'd be able to find one of the blades that would probably work as a dagger. Um, okay, be comparable for that. Oh, Doyle's transfixed by all of the of the sharp edges. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> grabs a grabs another, you know, scalpel essentially. Yeah. <laughs> And tucks that in next to his dagger. <laughs> um, also, there is a door leading out of here um, on the other side of the room as well. I forgot to mention that. <clears throat> well, uh, not personally being interested in any of this stuff, uh, Chisel and Pip kind of go investigate the next passageway. Okay. Sounds to good. To see... If it leads down, if there's multiple paths or anything like that, just to get a look at it while people are looking in the room. Sounds good. Uh, John, does Cedric have any interest in anything with these? Uh... He sure does. I had a feeling um... you were going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a um, as an undead hunter, he does actually have a bit of a bit of familiarity with reading weird documents and language he can't understand. Yeah. He knows to look for the drawings. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I'd love to have a look through like what it, like if there was a book out or something or like a manual, something like that, just lying around. He's yeah. gonna have a look through it. Sounds good. Yeah, no, you can absolutely look through that. Um, also, Marn, I don't know if Chris has any interest in this sort of stuff. I don't know if she has interest in scientific stuff or if she, if her idea of magic is a is a different thing. Yes, that she's interested in. I, I, don't mean, know. I think as soon as Chris walks into the room, she's gonna take one look at this and realize that there's something terribly unnatural going on, and she's just gonna just gonna exclaim, "Well!" This is terrible. I I thought this was person was supposed to be lawful and uh, and have a good persuasion, but this is this is most unnatural. And um, Pip, I I think you've got a point. <laughs> I think we should kill her. <laughs> <laughs> exactly one piece of potential evidence. Yeah, give, your, <laughs> give yourself flea luck, Bart. I love the explanation. <laughs> I think we should kill her. <laughs> I don't know. Good people. <laughs> no, it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's definitely a creep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, John, do you want to give me an intelligence check? Um, I would love to. For all these books here that you're going through. That would be a Perfect. 16. Yeah, so you're looking through these books. I would say some of the stuff might actually be, because of all the ancient tomes that you've studied, you can actually probably read through some of the, even the words here and there. Um, from what you can tell is that this process seems to be taking the blood of sentient creatures um, to, from what you can tell, um, give more strength to Strava. Um, it seems like, from whatever you can tell, she has been in some sort of horrible cataclysm, or, uh, not cataclysm, um, she's been a part of some horrible battle um, with her sister um, at some point in the last while. It's not really clear on how much time has passed. Um, that has severely weakened her. Um, and this sort of process seems to be strengthening her back to her, her old form to sort of deal with her sister again. Um, and what you can tell is that this silvery liquid is literal liquid moonlight. And from what you can tell is that for a lot of what she can do with it and what people who know how to use it can do is you can make these sort of moon slaves with it. Or, depending on how strong the creatures are, such as humans and dwarves and elves and that sort of thing, you can actually make weird versions like of moon vampires and higher beings if you want to it seems like so far that from what you can tell it seems like she's sort of she though from what you can tell those two scientists were left to be a little bit more sentient so they could actually work on the stuff and actually keep the maintenance going but it seems like uh overall um they've been made mostly just be servants to her mm -hmm. and there's but also of course, Cedric, Cedric can't pass up the phrase moon vampire um... <laughs> Uh, if you do want to harvest any of this moon liquid for yourself for any reason for experimentation or other stuff, you're welcome to. Um, yeah, he absolutely does. Yep. Yeah, I'd say so he's a very experimentative person. <laughs> there's loads of vials and probably you could probably you could probably get a box of that can hold vials here for, and you probably get like six vials of this sort of moon liquid if you want to. Um mm -hmm. probably like a half pint each in each vial. Uh, if you want to do that <laughs> for your further experimentations. And the last thing, there's not a lot you can't make out exactly the translation. But she in the book, it does seem to mention that Strava did also make four stronger moon slaves from an ancient race. Um, but it's yes. not really <laughs> showing what exactly it is. <laughs> but uh, you do see a picture of what looks like a more gargantuan 
version of these moon slaves. It there's like a little like four scale kind of picture, um, but it's not. It's sort of hastily drawn. Yeah. Well, this book must be taken away. Um, <laughs> puts it, puts it in his, one of his many pockets. And uh... also, I can't remember how the Dead Undead Hunter works, John. But if there's a thing with the sort of final battle thing. This will count as prepping for oh, for Undead. Um, I'll, now, I, I wanted to check that with you as well because yeah. I was like, oh, quick question. <laughs> yeah. So that will count as that as you guys are sort of looking through uh, that thing. Um, but yeah, so there's a door on the other on the other side um, of the room. You guys have sort of gone through and pilfered for what you could get out of this room. That's about it. Um, what do you guys want to do? I want to get out of here as soon as possible. This is terrible. This is a <laughs> oh, awful, awful place. Okay. Yeah, I'll second that. Yeah, what do uh, what do what does Pippin Chisel see down the down the next passage? So you guys open this sort of big metal door, um, and it leads to stairs leading further down, um, to another door at the end of that another big metal door. Cool. Uh, is, is that door uh, locked? Pipple kind of check uh, around it and uh, give the, it a look. See the second door. The second door, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, I will say, just from you checking, you can tell that's not locked. I don't know if you're, if you're checking for traps, that'll be a roll, but you can tell that's not locked. Yeah. Just, yep. Let me... I'll, I'll roll that up. All right. Nice. 18. Yeah, there appears to be no traps on this door. Cool. Uh, I'll uh, kind of pop it open, see what's on the other side. Okay. Um. So. So in this room, um, you open it up just to sort of peek through it, and you can see that this room is made up of like basically like three circles. Um, in the main circle, it looks like a more kind of a nice sort of lounge area. You can see all three, by the way. Like it's just sort of like a very open concept room. Um, but you can see, uh, in this sort of room, the main Ooh. part's very cozy. There's, uh, open concept for the, for being a hundred mile, a hundred feet down in a <laughs> volcano. Um, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very well, new you know, style. I don't know if you've wow, heard of it. hallways are just railings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, neat. <laughs> very the open. The uh... just attaches right into <laughs> yeah, the dining room. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. So cute. <laughs> Yeah. Fantastic, entertaining. You can be preparing food while standing. <laughs> Pip's a very snobbish interior designer. We find out that's your uh, level zero uh, yeah. profession. <laughs> uh, everybody does this open concept now. Yeah. It's not always the right way to go. <laughs> For example, um, in a volcano base, you probably go with some more something more closed. You know? I would think they'd want something structural in here. I mean, I don't know what's supporting this thing. <laughs> Um, so what you see in here is that in the main room, it looks a lot more sort of uh, cozy. You see some like some couches, some rugs, a few different uh, sort of nice amenities. It's this. There's actually like even like a big bed. It's like one of those big four poster beds on the far end of the room. Um, on both the left and right, those two other sort of like circles, um, you see what looks like in both of them. Um, two big like I guess the best way to explain to you guys are like two big sort of cryo chambers. You can't really see inside them, but they're obviously, from what you can tell, just seeing a little bit over like the sort of fogged up glass, is that there's a creature in each of them, probably about eight feet tall. Um, and but what really draws your eye in the middle um, on one of these couches um, is uh, what looks like a woman with black hair. Um, she looks very similar to Eloise. Um, she's surrounded by ten of these little moon slave creatures. Um, and one of them, um, is injecting her with a syringe that you can tell is filled with, um, um, these sort of crimson like liquid you guys saw in the last room in that big dome. And he sort of just finishes that up and she sort of just pushes him away. Um, and that's what you see so far. Uh -huh. So this is kind of from the from the cracked door. Yeah, you from the cracked the door. Yeah, door kind of thing. Okay. I imagine like <clears throat> you you cracked the door and you like looked left and looked right. You saw the the tubes on the sides, and then in the middle you see the the ten creatures <clears throat> and the woman. Cool. So yeah, Pip explains this. Uh, Teddy, like, is there some way we could block those cylinders from opening. 
It sounds like her guard creatures in the book. I, mm. I have an idea. Um, I could try and maybe put them to sleep. If they don't know we're here, I could... Um, I don't know. If it went wrong, they, they'd never know I tried. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Worth, worth, worth a shot. <laughs> we got four no one's easier to kill than someone who's sleeping, Pip yeah, says. You got four rerolls. <laughs> well, maybe we could just tie them up a little bit, but um, yes. <laughs> but now we already said we we're going to kill her, remember? You just chrysanthemum. Come on now. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yes. And she did with, with those gold. Yes, yes, yes. No, you're quite right. <laughs> She's evil. She was having second thoughts there for a minute, but you, you talked around. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, is this what we want to do? It sounds like a good plan to me. I Ooh. love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's... I still have uh, I still have several fleeting luck. Excellent. Maybe. Maybe. You guys got four re rolls. Yep. Yeah. All right, Martin. So let's spell burn. I don't know what, like eight or something, and. Uh, do you six? Yeah, I was gonna say, do you need to burn that much? Yeah, we're all we're in the same. We're kind of in the same position we were in before. You know what I mean? Relatively low risk. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. You've talked yeah, me out of it. Totally. <laughs> Real burn. It's not like she's gonna get a save. Uh, <laughs> an incredibly powerful spellcaster yeah. who was able to survive. Losing a fight with someone favored by a god of chaos. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'll spell you know, when you, three. When you then. Think of it that way. How many hit dice can she have? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> so sleep it is. Um, so I've got some bits to add. So I've, I've spell burn three, uh, and I've got the plus one owl. Oh Ooh. boy! I use a reroll. We want to use a reroll. Yeah, if that's okay with everybody. Yeah, we got. I mean, you got three more. This, after this. seems like the climax, right? So how, yeah, how, yeah. Hell yeah. Put put this lady to sleep. This is going to be a one, isn't it? A two more rerolls. <laughs> Use all there you go. the fucking cool. rerolls. <laughs> uh, so for whatever reason, that didn't add the plus five bonus. Yeah. Um. So it's just a straight fifteen. So that's fifteen plus five is twenty. Okay. So plus the three spell burn is twenty three. Okay. I don't know what that does now. Um, um, do you, so ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, if you go one more, we get a supernatural sleep for a D three with no D three days with no saving throw. I will totally. Uh, I'll chip get, in. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll chip in whatever needs to be chipped. In. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's just that's just uh, one more to get to the next one. Yeah, I'll chip yeah, it I'll, in. I'll throw that in. Uh, who, you, are you no doing it, Dan? Or? I will. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. 28 puts him in a suspended, ongoing, endless sleep with no saving throw. <laughs> we can just put her in that animation and carry her back and be like, we want extra. <laughs> yes. We brought her back alive. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess um, honestly, a D3 days probably does the same thing. The, also, the, the 28 can do up to 16 targets uh, otherwise as well. But yeah. But that's yeah, I think sleep, we yeah. want to really be sure that she's asleep, though, supernaturally, yeah. right? I think that's a pretty pretty good call. Though a 23 will still get you that. It's just for a D4 hours. So do, maybe we want 20, I'll, I'll, or 24. Uh, yeah, I'm, whatever. Yeah. I'm happy to chip in. I got three fleeting luck, so I'm ha what, what two, do I need to chip in? Two. So I'll chip in two, Jack will chip in two, Daniel will chip in one. That'll bring us up well, to Well, do we need that? Or do we want to go up to the full, the full, like... I, I'm like, why not? Look. Fuck <laughs> yeah! What are we <laughs> doing? <laughs> to, uh, to, which was... <laughs> I've got four. If we can snow white... We can snow white, we can snow yeah, white her uh, for a 20. Yeah. take advantage of this. <laughs> yep. Fuck it, why not? not fucking work. <laughs> Where are you at? What, wait, what, so what number are you guys doing it at? Like, well, I've got a base up to 28. You bring it up to 28? Just make sure. Yep. Just okay. That's what you guys are doing, and you're doing it on the 16 or doing it on her. Oh wait, 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 wait. But hmm. <laughs> the 28 <laughs> gets. Wait, what? Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. So yeah, we're aiming oh, okay. just for her, right? I think so. Because yeah. wait, what? What all else is in this room? Sorry, I'm. So there ten, is ten, ten of those little creepy goldlings yeah. and two 
things in some sort of suspended there's, animation. Well, there's like four. There's two on each side. Oh, there's okay. two on each side. Okay, time yeah. four. So it's not like Martin will lose the spell if he casts it here. Or if, like, That's true, too. If she casts it. That's a so good point So if we as sleep well. her, then we can reassess. And if we need to sleep more guys, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So you guys are doing the 28? Yeah. Let's do T28. I believe so. so. Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys are going to fucking hate me. Uh... <laughs> Because on her stat block, it says she's immune oh. to sleep. And no. so you see her eyes flick up towards the door. And with a wave of her hand, the door swings open to reveal all of you guys. Um, <laughs> and we're going to go to initiative here. Like, Alex, by the way, I'd like to to, to to mention, when the door opens, we're all in the door frame look, trying to look through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I see you guys are all there. So she just has the door swing open. Mm. Um. <laughs> And we're going to go to initiative here. <laughs> oh, my God, Tim. Okay. Uh, a Hilarious. random spell is cast by a patron. All right. So I'll do that right now. Um, Tim, if you want to at home, you're welcome to. Uh, but I can roll. Oh. But if, you, if you want to do a roll, you can. But I'm going to. <laughs> oh, my God. He says you got it. <laughs> I got it? All right. So, Pip, you get a vision from Clarv Garak. Um, as, let's see here. Oh, man. You guys are level two. <laughs> All right. Guide me, Clarv Garak. He's crying <laughs> us and he's like, that's some bullshit. <laughs> I want you to know oh, that's God. some bullshit right there. Can't believe she's a fucking. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally the spell that's... I was looking at and I was like, okay. Um, the suspense is killing me. So. <laughs> oh man, I am fucking shaking. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, through Pip, um, you guys see, oh my gosh, he's dead. You guys see, <laughs> <laughs> you guys see three fucking beams of fire just explode from Pip's chest and just go directly Ooh. for her. Um, Pip, if you want to do it, um... Just for the oh, damage, no. roll me 3d12 plus 6. I heard that. We can re-roll damage if it's really low. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get rid of that one. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to re-roll one of those dice. Yep. Yeah, I'll, uh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'll re-roll the one. Yeah, yeah I'll so re-roll we have... the one. You still have, have eleven. Oh, oh my god! Do you want to oh, oh, Did you want to re-roll that one? I will I say this know. is this is the climax battle. Do you <laughs> can't take it with you? <laughs> How many rolls do you have left? Right, two rolls. Two. We have two yeah. or yeah. Two? Well, well, yeah. Okay. One after if you re-roll this one again. All right. Don't don't blame me if it's so there's two. another one. Yeah. Roll to the chances, right? There you go. All right. Okay. Okay. okay, that's okay. better. So, um, seven, the reason why it's six, good that you did that is because otherwise it wouldn't have killed her. But she goes, did you really think that would work on... And just fire just comes out of the hallway and just shoots her across the other side of the room and she's just a scorched thing on the on the wall, just sort of <laughs> just stuck against it. Um, and the ten little creatures go, Rah! and they run towards you. And then we'll just actually <laughs> do initiative here. But she is completely <laughs> obliterated on their side of the wall. She's there. dead? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. The one was not enough. All you need was a three on that D twelve to be enough to kill her. <laughs> wow. Cedric just turned and is like, Jesus Christ, Pip. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, he's kinda like staggered. I, I imagine there's like a blackened like yeah, it's just, mark yeah. on his chest. You have like, like, like a he's completely <laughs> just dazed. He has no idea what's going on. Club Grok. Thank you. Oh my um, gosh. Good job, Tim. That was uh, 
that that oh, changes this encounter Holy quite a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I okay. Roll, roll initiative. Then? Yeah, I think some of you already rolled initiative. So if you guys want to just. Oh, okay. I have this rolled yeah. up. Um, oh nice. I rolled a twenty. Okay, so you got a twenty. What's your initiative, Martin? Uh, twenty. It's, oh, it's just so it's just straight up twenty. Okay. Yeah, no, I I burned some modality, so it's, ah, it's just okay. a twenty. Perfect twenty. Um, Martin. um, Jack, you can just have your hirelings go on one of your character on your character. Okay, turns, we're rolling for both is. characters though. Yeah, just roll for both characters since there's less hirelings now. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, uh, tw that twenty. The uh, twenty is uh Pip. 20 is Pip. 20 for Pip. And Chisel got the 16. 16. Um, 16 for will go on an 18, and I'll have the hirelings go with him because no, there's no fucking way they're following Doyle. Yeah, 18 for Ixie. <laughs> would, would anyone follow Doyle? I don't think Doyle has the mental capacity to understand what following him is. <laughs> um, Martin, um, what was the 20? Was that Chris or was that. Oh, well, that was. Sorry, we rolled individually. That yeah, it's roll for both characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that Chris? Yeah, sorry. Let me roll the other one, which is Jedediah rolled. Um, yeah, a 10. Okay. So Chris is 20, Jedediah is 10. Um, and okay, you guys are all not going to be in this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um,. So, okay, so Ixie was 18 and his Harlings go with him. What was the other role yep. you got, Jack? Uh, Doyle's 15. Doyle's 15, okay. Uh, Doyle, 15. Uh, and John, your two characters. Cedric has an 11, and Fennec has a 5. Okay. Fennec, 5. All right. <laughs> good job, guys. That was very good. <laughs> well, <laughs> good job, Tim. Uh, yeah, good job. <laughs> um, okay, well, that Gee. guy's not coming to the fight because she's dead. So, Chris, you're going first. Um, so, Chris is going to um, just look around and think, well, I don't know. Maybe a second time it'll work and she'll cast sleep. <laughs> and... Um, she will spend some fleeting luck on that, so it's not okay. a total disaster. I, I have, uh, I've got two fleeting luck. I can give totally. you on that. I know sleep is a very powerful spell, so yeah, you can have well, those if, for sure. If it works. Yeah. So you didn't, also, your five didn't add to this, right? Or your four? Oh, Was it five? Yes, so it's actually, right, yeah. it's actually 15. 15? Um, oh, nice. Plus nice, how nice. much luck? Yeah. Pl two from me. Okay, so 17. Uh, so I'll get rid of four. Four luck, okay. That's, uh, that's all the fleeting luck, so that's 21. Um, you could save one of those and leave it at 20, Martin, which is the, enough for the threshold. Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, nice. sounds good. Um, so, that's, uh, so that's 20 is what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go for the targets in the... So are the things in the chambers looking like they're going to bust out? Uh, so far, no. No, okay. Um, yeah, so we'll just go for these these little things. Okay. I'll say this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you make it 21, they, they auto-fail, because they can't actually hit a 21, but there's a chance for them to oh, roll cool. 20. So yeah, if you do want an extra then. luck, then they will all just, four of them yeah. will just drop. Yeah, let's get it. Let's, let's wipe four out. A little meta, but I just thought it might be, if that's what you would like mm. to know. Uh, yeah, so that's four cool. of them just fucking immediately just hit the ground uh, asleep for, I believe... Uh, like uh, one hour, I think is that. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a D four. Anyway, yeah. So one hour. So yeah, four of them drop. They're out of the fight. Once they get shaken up, because that's just normal sleep. Um. Okay. Good job, Chris. And now it's Pip's turn. There are six of them still up. They're uh, all running straight at you in the group. This is a pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty even side yeah, battle yeah, so yeah. far. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, Pip is. Uh, uh, Pip's gonna kind of go hard to the left uh, and try to cut kind of whoever's on the end of this uh, group running at me off. And he's going to attack with his long sword. Okay. 
Jesus okay. f- fucking Christ. All right, well, you cut one of their heads off, so they go down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's five who are still up. Okay, Can excellent. You picture yeah. of these little guys? Um, I don't know if there is one in there. I can find one, possibly, but I don't actually have one. Basically, uh, that's and, fine and, if there isn't one. Yeah, but basically, imagine, like, three-foot-tall bald dudes that are blue and grayish, and uh, with my prey mouths, they're, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine those nerds from the Green Lantern that give you powers, but they have lamprey mouths. Now kill them. <laughs> I got it. Um, those nerds from Green Lantern. And that's okay, that's Pip's turn. Okay, now two of them are going to go. Two of them go straight for you, Pip, since you just sliced the head off of uh, one of them. Um, Get back! <clears throat> uh, Pip, uh, oh, Pip. What's his AC? I'm just seeing how much uh, they actually had. To, uh, so one, one definitely 12. failed, and one got 13. That one hit. Okay. Um, so you guys notice that these guys have what, what look like little cattle prods. Uh, this one runs up to you and shocks you with it. So you're going to take one point, <laughs> one point of damage and give me a fortitude save. Drop your weapon or something in the front of him. Oh, ah, you passed, yeah. So you get a little shocked. That was teetering on the wall yeah. there. It was like, it's what? a hard save, too. So you pass it, but yeah, you get shocked, and it uh, does not feel good. Um, you feel you feel your muscles almost seize up. Uh, Ixie, your turn. Um, yeah, Ixie's going to pu- pull his helm low over his eyes and jump forward with a long sword at one of them. Nice. This is like going this is going really well. He's feeling good. Yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Uh Tim has totally made this an easy encounter now. This is gonna be way worse. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh Okay, yeah, that's gonna hit. And that's gonna okay, and it's just a fucking dead dude. Uh that just fucking uh, are you going for one of the ones that went after Ixy? Or uh, one of the ones that went after Pip, or are you going for a different one? Yeah, can I uh so I got the deed. You don't have to declare that before. No, I, I do it afterwards because there's no point in declaring it that you fail. So yeah, you can what's your right. deed do you want to do? Um yeah, he's uh, is he gonna try to like uh I know you can't damage necessarily with the deed, but like to run the one through and bowl into the other one since they're so small and Ixie's a giant lizard man. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds good. Um, did you want to? So you did you want to uh, bowl over like the like kill one and bowl over the other one that attacked Pip, or are you going for one? Yeah, that's yeah. Gone yet? Yeah, Ixie's gonna like bowl. He's yeah, run the one through and then bowl into the other one. <laughs> let the sword drop and pin the other one. I mean, he's probably gonna try to bite his head off. Yeah. Next turn. So yeah, so you get one and like yeah, the sword drops and this guy is just like on the ground with like sort of impaled with the other one. And he's just trying to like get up off of the one that's like on top of him. So that guy is currently prone and pinned. Um, anybody who attacks him will have like a plus two on their attacks against him. Um, okay. Uh, and then it's another one. This one's going to go for... Oh, it's Ixi. the hirelings. The hirelings. Oh, sorry. Yes, your hirelings. Yeah. Um, they're going to do uh, the cowardly uh, and stupid thing, and they're going to try to run around uh, the uh, the four that are left charging and try to stab some of the sleeping ones. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so if you have them Three go... kills. For, if you have them go for the sleeping ones, uh, they'll just automatically kill uh, two of them. Yeah, they just run around. Yeah. Um... <laughs> they're like, those guys won't stab us back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I imagine because they're so short anyway, they both just jump over the one who's trying to get out from under his friend. And just jump over him and then immediately just stab two of them behind them. Um, so those two are just going to be dead and gone. So good good move on the hirelings. Um, and then um, it's, yeah, it's this next one's going to go. It's going to be going on, on Ixy after that attack. Actually, no, he's going to go for one of the hirelings because they're sort of open themselves up. So this one's going to go for Cooper. Um and he's going to hit him with a shock baton. Um, oh, that's yeah. a 15. So it's going to be one point of damage on Cooper. Um, okay, he has one health left. Um, and Fort safe. And fort safe, please, yes. Okay, no. <laughs> it does not even come close to it. Yeah, so you just see him go like... <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, he is going to be stunned for... five rounds the, the whole combat yeah pretty <laughs> much funny. yeah but yeah <laughs> okay so that's him gone uh chisel it's your turn okay uh chisel uh chisel's gonna take aim with his longbow no f that he's gonna pull his long sword and uh charge in uh and he's gonna he sees what uh 
Ixie was getting up to, and he's going to try to kind of do a similar maneuver where he uh, runs somebody through uh, and kind of bowls into the next person in line. Okay, I love it. Well, uh, well okay. okay. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, well, that guy's fucking dead okay. anyway. <laughs> Your D doesn't go off, but you do just fucking no, critical this guy. Yeah. Uh, and that guy's just D6 nice. for nice. the damage that you clearly need to kill yeah. this guy. <laughs> yeah, the D6 on top of the 8, you're already fucking, yeah, so that guy's gone. Uh, are you going for the ones who hasn't gone yet, or the one that just uh, the one that just went? Who are you going for? There's only two guys left uh, who, are, who are... Well, yeah, I'm going to go for... If you're giving me the option, I'm going to go for one of the ones that hasn't yep. gone yet. Yeah, okay. totally. Yeah, so he just kind of stabs him through and then tears yeah. him apart and kind of like loses himself in the moment for a minute. <laughs> yeah. He kind of forgets about his whole plan that he had <laughs> running in there. Yeah, so that one's gone. That, one, that one's going to go next, but he now he's not. Uh, Doyle, uh, your turn. All right, Doyle doesn't draw any weapon because as a ninja, he has unarmed proficiency and oh, can attack God. twice <laughs> as if his agility is 16. <laughs> so he'll get to roll two... Two D sixteen action dice. Okay. Um, Who's he he's going to go to? Tra- there's one remaining up, right? And then there's the one there, that's pinned. Yeah. The, well, uh, there's 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 two remaining up, but there's one who hasn't gone yet. Okay. Um, do you have to call both attacks before I do them, or can I call one and then? Oh, call you want to do one punch? On, no, no. If you you can, I'm, I'm going to let you. If you want to do a punch on this guy, if he dies, you want to go for the next one. I'm going to allow that. They're, yeah. clo- they're close okay, enough together cool. that I'll allow that. If they're further away, that right. I would. Yeah, so he's going to go for a drop kick on the one that hasn't gone yet. <laughs> okay. All right, and it gets a D16. I don't remember how to roll down. Uh, just, if you want to, just click a just click a D20, then just uh, delete the D, or, like, you can just change it yeah, to, to a D16, basically. All right, I'll roll the D16. So it's D16 plus... Plus your strength and whatever else. Just plus, I think it's agility in this case, so... Oh, yeah, sorry, agility. Uh, yeah, um, so it'll just be a D16 plus one. Okay. I can type today. Well, that's a weird looking die. Uh, that's not going to hit. Um, their AC is oh, 13. Um, <laughs> so if you want to do the next hit on them, you can. Yeah, I'll just do the other one as well. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, these just, roll, that rolls real yeah. weird. Huh? Yeah, it just whiffs through the air. Yeah, oh yeah, you go for the drop kick. Yeah, you go for the drop kick. You go for the leg sweep. Yeah, misses. <laughs> just misses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's also in a tuxedo. So. Yeah. Like, he gets caught in <laughs> yeah. the coattails. The okay. coattails wrap around his leg and he falls. <laughs> so that, that, <laughs> the next one goes and he just sort of like drops his shock baton onto Doyle and just tries to hit him. Um, so he's going to, uh, does 15 hit Doyle? Oh, I think is, uh, Jack frozen. Oh God. Wait, we, either, we, either, we, either, lost, either. we lost Jack in a really creepy moment. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think, uh, I think we lost him for a second there. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Just looking over the stream, and it's just like yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> he's just he's so happy with. <laughs> uh, I do love playing online. Mm. Doyle's <laughs> AC is fifteen. It is okay, so he's gonna hit. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll look. <laughs> Oh, just the worst time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve just screen capped that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor guy. Yeah, internet went out. Okay. Um I'll just have I'll just have him go for somebody else. Um I'll say um Chisel went before that. Uh fifteen. Does fifteen hit Chisel, um, Dan? Uh fifteen. Sorry, one second. I think so. Yeah, his AC is fourteen. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So you're so Chisel's gonna take one point of damage, and do you want to give me? Oh, okay. Oh wait, is yes, Wizard, Wizard back? That's fine. I'll still go on yeah, Chisel. Sure. Then. Yeah. All right, I'm back. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm still not back. It's all good. I just went for Chisel yeah. instead of uh, Doyle there. Um, no, I guess that would have been a. Yeah, it's all good. Been a hit, right? So you fail the fortitude save. If you want to burn seven, oh, luck, okay. you'll pass it. 
Um, <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> so you also go, um, as you get hit with the shock baton, and it stuns you. <laughs> this is so comedic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and for two rounds, you are just out. <laughs> Dang. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if they're going to survive two rounds, though. Um, okay, um, so that's him. Uh, now it's Jedediah's turn. Jedediah just um, gets his pitchfork and uh, struts up to one and just... Uh, you can't go prodding people with those things and then just gives them a stab with his pitchfork in a very kind of hypocritical <laughs> kind of way. <laughs> Love how he's using a pitchfork. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, yeah. Uh, damage. Yeah. Um, he's still alive, but barely holding on. Uh, like some of his sort of silvery crimson brown blood starts flowing out. Um, and he sort of chokes up out of his lamprey mouth more blood, um, but he's still going. He's not very nice, is it? <laughs> and now it's Cedric's turn. <laughs> yeah, Cedric's going to just shoot at uh, one of the last ones standing. <laughs> yeah, there's one who's hurt and there's one who's not. Oh, I'll shoot the one that's not hurt. Okay. Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah, so that, nice. that crossbow... Uh, you guys do have one reroll left, I believe, don't you? So I'm you not get... wasting on this thing. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Uh, that's totally fair. Um... But yeah, uh, just to remind you guys in case anybody does get a good roll, but like a r good damage but bad roll. Um, all right, uh, Fennec. Yeah, Fennec is going to uh, <clears throat> charge the one that uh, that Marin stabbed, or the other one. Yep. Okay. No, the other one, the one that I shot at and missed. Okay. All right, uh -huh, and that one like will it. hit, and that one will just absolutely just obliterate him. Um, I will say, we don't need to go through the entire rounds again here. Uh, there's one who's pinned who can easily be killed, and there's one who literally has one hit point left. How do you guys want to dispose of the last of these guys? Uh, in a very dismissive manner. Uh, just as kind of walking by, just a kind of offhanded like sword swing. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why is just because there's only there's only one guy left basically, so it's like this is, is very the pinned one. <laughs> there's the there's the pinned one. There's two guys who are asleep, and there's one who has one hit point left as he's being stabbed with a fucking pitchfork. So I'm just like, there's no like we don't need to go through rounds of combat here. You guys are just gonna obliterate them. Uh, yeah, so, whoever's stabbing them with the pitchfork, yeah. is you finish him off already. <laughs> yeah, he's just like on the ground, just like <laughs> oh, twist. I am, are you making this so slow for him? <laughs> Sorry, I just oh wanted to give him a taste of his own medicine. I love. Uh, Can I, <laughs> I love no that, I, here. that I built up this whole thing. <laughs> that fucking fire, that scorching ray spell, <laughs> just fucking ended it all. Amazing. Um, so is she anything left of her? Is she like a charred? Corpse? She's a charred corpse on the wall. Okay, cool. Um, um, wow. Also, yeah, Ixie rips the other one's throat out with his teeth. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so <laughs> he's just pinned under. You just do that. You guys grab your gear back. Um, you are in this room now. There are the tubes on the sides, though, but it seems mm -hmm. like they're still sort of, like, in stasis. Um, it seems like they were not called forth like you expected them to be, um, for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cedric is going to <laughs> try it. If this was a sci-fi game, I'd just weld them shut. <laughs> but uh, so he's like, um, I wonder if I can find a, a length of chain to stop these brutes from escaping. <laughs> Why don't we just leave that up to our patron now that uh, she... Presumably she gets Cassus Belly to steal this place. <laughs> um, yeah, well, unless her other sister... Oh, we... <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, P uh, Pip's gonna start looking around for like uh, like a hidden safe or like uh, yeah. treasure chests and say, "Let's loot this place and get the hell out of here." <laughs> yeah, we do what we come here to do. Let's. Uh... But what is there in the rooms other than the four tubes and this, yeah. this sort of shaylange? Is it? Yeah, a few things of <laughs> yeah. There's also a. Don't you hang out in your room with the shaylange and the and four bodyguards and stasis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, outside of that, there's, uh, there's, there is a cage, um, <laughs> there's a cage that you guys can see, um, um, there's, like, a sort of, like, glass and metal pool, uh, with, like, blood in it, um, but yeah, I know there's not much else in here, you guys sort of go through it, um, 
<laughs> no no prisoner in the cage or, or anything like that? No, no. The no. The cage is fully empty. Okay. Yep. Every bloody person I talked to in an end said that when we do this stuff, we'll be going everywhere and there'll be little chests of treasure with gold right. and like, glowing shit and magical shit, and we find absolutely <laughs> you fuck guys... all in the last three in things that we've done. You guys have become super unlucky with what you... <laughs> We're successful at being look... poor, says Jedediah. <laughs> yeah, we get the job done, but where's our treasure? And it calls up a hand. Like... We could look, look. We killed the threat. We know where the things are. We can just toss the house. <laughs> oh, I will say actually, sorry. On her body, also that that's mm-hmm. uncharred, is there is um, what looks like a wand, um, with like a symbol of a moon etched into the 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 bottom of it. I push a, a little button on. Fennec puts a little button, pushes a little button on it, and it shakes in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad Alex got the joke. <laughs> Ah, yes. The very magical wand. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, John. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, this is obviously some sort of special wand. I don't know, if Chris, if you want to do an intelligence check on it. Um, yeah. Just sort of figure out what kind of wand that. it is. I can. Also, once 160 is satisfied that her body isn't like booby trapped, he's probably going to like cut the fabric off the sh- the chaise lounge and uh, wrap her up in it so we can take it back. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, is there not a rug? Oh, yeah, is there a rug in here? Uh, there is a rug, yeah. yeah. I find oh, the excellent. nicest rug in here and wrap yeah. her up. And you just, yeah, you, just, you get, like her sort of like fleshy burnt parts all over as you just roll it up and get together. Uh, there's not much left of her, really, so you just have this basically like this <laughs> nice... Like, he's still uh, spitting out the blood from that gross thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, what else is there? Um, yeah, so, uh, this wand, um, sort of, you can, I guess, use this wand instead of your owl, depending, Martin, you can't use both, obviously, but it gives you a plus one to your spells if you use it. Um, uh-huh. but also, um, what it does, it has sort of, like, it's not really so much a spell as more it's just an ability. Um, if you cast it, it's a fortitude save versus attack roll. Um, and the, the target is, um has their uh, movement and attacks halved for a few rounds. We can get to the actual mechanics later, but basically you can slow things down with it, um, which is pretty good. Um, but outside of that, yeah, there's not much in this room, unfortunately, guys. Um, if you guys want to explore other parts, you guys totally can. If you guys want to head awesome back to a Loise, you can. <laughs> what did she promise us? What are we getting out of this? I'm going to be honest, I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's been like a <laughs> month since <laughs> <our> last session. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure, no idea. I totally, I totally <laughs> forgot. If anybody's watched the VOD recently, let me know. Um, we also, we have to take that fucking gigantic ape with yeah. us on the ship. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He's waiting for you at the beach where you're, uh, where like he told you he'd wait for oh, you like, where, where your uh, dinghies are back to the ship. So he's there somewhere. Um, we do know <laughs> two slightly dodgy canoes we could take off from at the base of the volcano instead and just leave him standing. Okay, that is objectively the funnier thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to report back to uh, Eloise, Eloise first. Yeah, that's right. right. He doesn't yeah. hang out like in the yeah. camp. If he's on the beach, we know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, you guys are actually yeah, yeah. Uh, supposed to go back to a green tower that you guys saw, um, sort of the middle. Yeah. yeah. Um, with yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you guys are heading back there, you can do that. Uh, if you guys are still ex- if you want to explore more of this area, you guys Benny's can. exploring more of this building. He needs loot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's yeah. kind of sick of being Cedric's little underling. Yeah. Yep. No, Literally absolutely. his yeah, little and getting, and getting nothing for it. Um, so. Yeah, ma- maybe we head further down and see what else we can find. We explore the area and then head out through the bottom. So, potentially. so that you guys, uh, so there's two places you guys can sort of go. There's a ladder, there's sort of like a trap door out of this room that leads down. And there's also the tunnel earlier, uh, that you guys could go up as well. So those are your two choices of places you guys can see. Um, you could probably guess from where you are for the way who's good directions. Um, the the ladders here lead to that open cave you guys saw on the other side, which could lead to uh, other parts. I'm saying that just leads to that. And that's it. I'm saying like that's that's probably where you're heading. Um, so it's up to you guys. You have those two choices of where you guys want to go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out the ladder. 
Okay, yep. So you just open the trap door. Uh, the ladder goes down about 25 feet to uh, to another hallway, similar to, those, similar to these other ones. And uh, if you go down that, you see this tunnel leads all the way down to another ladder that goes past that cave and even further below, about 200 feet. Yep, down I go. Okay, so you go down there. Is anybody following um, Fennec? Or is yeah. It, yep. So yeah, we should yeah, all, uh, you get yeah. all the way down Hello. to the bottom there. Um, and now you're below like that structure that you can see because you sort of passed in the cave and you kept going down and down and down. Um, let's see here. Um, Okay, yeah, so you head all the way down, um, and then you are now at what seems like the base of this massive 300-foot-tall um, metal apparatus, um, and you can see um, in front of you is a big brass door. Um, Fennec? Yeah. Going to try the door handle. <laughs> yeah, so you open up the big brass door, and you go in, and it seems like this this room ends right here. It doesn't seem to go anywhere else. But what this room seems to be is a control room. Um, and what Fennec can see here is that on all these different controls, the two things that <laughs> jump out to him is that there's two big dials. Um, and they're both set to blue. And there's another one uh, that the other thing it can be set to is red. <laughs> Fennec looks at this and he's like, hmm. Fennec's not an idiot, by the way. He's out of, he's out of average intelligence. He's just yep. like, oh, this is probably really important, probably a destruction system or something. And Cedric's like, yeah, we could destroy all these disgusting undead with this. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Fennec. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to. And also, anybody who followed uh, Cedric and Fennec are here as well, like just behind them. So it's up to you, yeah. uh, Cedric and Fennec, if you you have the first choice if you want to hit the dials or if anybody's doing anything. But uh... I, I think I would tell the group before I blow this place up, but I really want to blow this place up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we should leave them alone. I mean, we could get out and um, we, we could be alive or we could, I don't know, mess with that and maybe not be so alive. And Cedric goes, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> 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 uh, learning from your doubles in the last adventure. <laughs> um, and one thing to all also add, uh, John, that you see is that there's like basically a big, big glass window in here where you can see the massive turbine that's about like a hundred feet deep into the magma, and it's just spinning clockwise. <laughs> Cedric's like, oh, neato. <laughs> Fennec's like, obviously that's the source of the power in this whole place. Uh, neato. <laughs> Um, yeah, Cedric is like, this place should be destroyed because okay. pretty bad. <laughs> so Cedric, Cedric hits the two dials to, to red. I'm kind of like, well, I'm going to hit one of them. <laughs> yep. So Cedric hits one of them and the turbine slowly stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, nothing happens right now outside the turbine stopping. Yeah. But he's like, eh, long term might be enough to, <sighs> unless we can, <laughs> because I don't know how long it's going to, be... I'm going to have to. If and then he pushes that, the... I'm leaving you know? first. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah. he's like, you should all leave because I'm going to have a very exciting moment where I destroy <laughs> four undead. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Exit leaves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chris and yeah. Jedediah leaves. Jedediah wants to see what happens, but yeah, yeah. he's seen what's, ha what's happened to Chuck. And, going out yeah. towards the boats, right? Not not at the top. That's yeah. my plan. <laughs> yep. So you guys you guys start leaving, um, and you guys are gonna start going around to towards like where the boats would be. Um, yeah, I'll say you guys can probably get there from this side. Just sort of go along, find a little secret route to get back to those boats. Um, and you hit the second dial, and the turbine now starts spinning counterclockwise. Um, John, I'll let you give me a very hard intelligence check here. DC 20. Oh, I see. <laughs> For uh, Cedric, uh, I believe. He's the one, he's the one hitting yep. the dials, yeah. He's the one hitting the button. Well. Yep. 
Cool. Yeah, no, he has no idea how long it's going to take before this thing, this cooling system is now a heating system. Uh, he's not totally yep. sure how long it's going to take for it to start heating up. <laughs> Whole thing. And you follow. No yeah, and you follow your friends. <laughs> oh, he is going to run out yeah. of here. <laughs> yeah, so you follow your friends, and you guys are taking. You guys, you guys said you guys are taking the dinghies um, to uh, mm -hmm. to the boats. Uh, or sorry, the dinghies to the boats. Dinghies to your boat. Is that the plan? So do or we are you guys go going back to Eloise's? So do we want to go to this beach? Because the 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 yeah, gorilla is going to wait for us here. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah. So we can take it to this beach and then walk back to the tower. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So you guys, you guys take those dinghies and you start going around. You get really close to the villa, and you guys are just sort of going around. You get you're getting rocked by the by the waves that are sort of hitting you, but you're able to sort of keep keep yourself steady. And you guys get on that beach. You unload the uh, sister in the rug, <laughs> uh, and you guys start walking towards the big green tower. Um, you guys. Uh, start traversing. It takes a while. I think it's actually nighttime at this point now. So you guys are traversing probably. through the night, um, through the jungle, um, and probably about maybe for a mile before you actually hit the tower, you guys are surrounded by what seems like a massive sprawling garden with big plants. You see some of them are snapping at the air as you guys are sort of walking down the trails that you guys can find um, until eventually you guys... Uh, get to the tower that's really tall, tall up, like really high up. And this tower is gorgeous, even though it's dark out. You guys can still see sort of this luminescent green, almost like algae at night, um, just coming off of it. Um, and there is a front uh, double doors. Well, I see, guess we should knock. Carpet yeah. rolled up over his shoulder and knocks. <laughs> yep. So you, you knock and you wait, um, and eventually the doors open. Um, and Eloise in sort of like a nightgown and like a big sort of a big sort of shish kebab with gold meat on it. Just, all right, guys, you're back. Come on in. And she sort of brings you guys in um, and just taking more bites. So you guys want some? Or it's just uh, it's just over there on the hearth. I just uh, I'm a bit of a I, I like a little midnight snack here and there. Um, I'm fine, thank you," says Chris. So and what's he shrugs. up? He's like, it was pretty good last time. Oh. <laughs> Ixie, like, we we've taught a present. <laughs> <laughs> Ixie, like, takes it off his shoulder, but instead of, like, putting it on the ground, he, like, you know, lets it roll yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. And, then just... and so the body then, like, I imagine, like, the, the skin was probably still, like, yeah, hot and burnt. Off. And so it's like, there's, like, a gross, like, <laughs> and, like, as it rolls out, her body, yeah. like, flips off of it, but some of this, some of her is still attached to the rug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she sort of just exclaims, like, oh, you, oh, my God, you actually got her. Huh. I thought you guys were going to be, like, the last group. And she sort of, like, just nudges it with her foot. Yeah, she, yeah, she's dead, all right. Um... And what about the volcano and all its creatures? Are they still there? Did you kill everything inside, or can I take control of them? Yeah, not everything. Um, there were some buttons. Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what, what do you mean, buttons? Well, we went into a room, and there were buttons, and we pushed them, and and Cedric's really playing dumb. Like, he's a, <laughs> just a... Yeah. Like, well, you see... <laughs> We pushed the buttons, and uh, a big turbine down the bottom <laughs> flipped, changed direction, and, uh, yeah. Oh, um, and she just sort of stares at you for a little bit, and then she kind of just shrugs and says, ah, I didn't like that part of the island anyway. Um, I think, didn't I promise you guys something for all this crap? I can't remember what it was. It was some now. nebulous amount of money <laughs> yeah. we all agreed on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she grabs a sack that she says can't be opened until you leave the island and come back next session. Uh, <laughs> no, she, she, no, she gives, I can't remember what she says, but whatever she promised you, she gives to you guys. I'll try, I'll look back at the VOD and see what it was. <laughs> um, and she gives you guys that. And she says, oh, well, I'm sure Clarve Grok will uh, appreciate this. I definitely appreciate this. Um, if you guys are ever looking for a place to come vacation, you can always come here. Um, this place is going to be much nicer now. Um, but anyway. Um, you yeah. going to do anything about that big ape? Oh. Really, uh, my little, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, not, not really. He's He's been pretty helpful around here. I usually just, uh, you know, he helps me out with things around the around the island. Oh, you him. haven't, he hasn't told you about the whole insurrection thing. Insurrection? What do you mean? 
Yeah, the uh, army that he's trying to raise to take oh over the world. Oh, my God. You might want to no, no, take No, I know about that. that. He always talks about... No, he, he's always talking about his great army and his fate <laughs> and all the money he's acquired and all this stuff. He, he goes on about it all the time, but he's he's not leaving this island, so I don't see him getting anywhere with it because uh, he's been That's a pretty good. good little minion. But, uh, yeah. Um, no, no, I'm not too worried about him. He's, he seems to do what I tell him to do so far. Yeah, just watch it. I heard him, I heard him back talking to you, but I couldn't quite make out what he said. Hmm. But uh, we gotta get going. We gotta <laughs> just, she just takes a like, takes a bite and just sort of like, just, like squints at you. Hmm. Good to know. I'll, I'll, I'll see about this with, uh, <laughs> with the big ape. Um. And yeah. So you guys just sort of get your gear. Um. Maybe grab some golden meat for those who want some for the road. And you guys head back towards the beach. Um. So you guys are taking the other dinghies to back to the boat. From the other beach. Yeah. From the other beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, I actually want to take the gorilla with us, but <laughs> but I I'm just like mm, Gormas. <laughs> oh, Gormas! Mm -hmm. uh, I have nothing against taking the gorilla off this island at all. <laughs> I have no problem with it. A thousand I gold. Cold. I mean, that's a lot of money, even if it's four ways. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Matt's up to you Seems guys. Like a ris risky prospect. I think he'd be an ex excellent bunkmate for the journey home. And <laughs> I think Jack is frozen again. Oh, Jack is frozen I again. Know. I thought he was just. I thought, I thought he was just. I thought he was just incredulously looking at uh at you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. his poor, his poor internet. <laughs> uh, I think it's it caught on reasonably well. Both, like, moment <laughs> um yeah as i said i'd like to bring gourmet along because i like him <laughs> yeah oh, but i guess if you want then um oh, boy i'll just i'll ping wizard i'll ask him what yeah what does he want to do <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much steve thank you for these gifts <laughs> uh And, uh, yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe we'll come back in a second. Who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you protest this, Jack? Was <laughs> 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 it like he just thinks it's funnier to leave him? <laughs> funnier to leave him, yeah. I'm kind of like... <laughs> I think it's funnier to know that somewhere we'll have unleashed a big ape across our, our... civilization. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you know, he'll bring ruin to many. Oh, uh, now we're all moving around again. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now I'm chaos. <laughs> yeah. Now you're in charge, uh, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and what right, so in that sack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it was just playing with fire. Make sure we sail past the beach on the way. Um, <laughs> well, the, the, he is on the beach that we landed on. <laughs> He'd see the boat. That's the thing. Is like he he can probably swim. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Just sorry about this guy's technical issues today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I just want to see what. What the final verdict is for you guys? Because I don't want—I don't want to go either way. If people want, if you guys, I want you guys to discuss what the final thing is going to be here when it comes to Gormaz. <sighs> oh, I'm sure, we sail past the beach on the way. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> I am the new Jack. <laughs> 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 Oh man. All right. Uh well, Jack doesn't seem to be coming back. Um no opposition. So I we got we got one oh. for uh, yeah, yeah. So he's on opposition and John, you're for the ape. Marin and Dan, what are your votes? Do you want ape or do you want no ape? I'm going to sit on the fence. Okay, you no sitting on the fence. <laughs> oh, um What what do your characters want? 
<laughs> I, I think it would be funnier to... So Chris Chris is thinking, well, you know, I, he could have a, some sort of disease or he, he might sort of go, go ape on the boat. Um, so, yeah, Chris isn't keen. Jedediah doesn't really care very much. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So right. overall, no. Uh, Dan? Oh, I've... <laughs> I vote yes, although I do think it is funnier to uh, leave him behind and like kind of like even like sail past him. <laughs> That's definitely the funnier thing to do. Uh, but I, I'm all for like bringing him along and see what kind of insanity that could potentially cause down the line. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I vote bring him, bring him along. Bring him along. Okay. My vote. So this is, yeah, yeah, so we got, we got, okay. And was just saying he has an opposition. So I guess that's he's cool with it he's i guess he's like i didn't want two neutral people at this point because then we start okay but we got two yet if we got two yeah. yeses that you guys are going to get gourmets i guess um so <laughs> chris says well, is there feast. room is there room for him on the boat is this gonna be like That's just i want to see how it works out <laughs> yeah so so we you guys are talking discuss this with gourmets you guys are gonna be him there um <laughs> Oh my god. So you guys you guys head towards the beach, um, where your original boats are and where Gormaz is. Um, and you see him now with a big red uh patchwork cape and a metal helmet on his head. And he says, You you done business? Um, as he has like this big sort of chest also just under slung under one arm. Yeah, it's all done. Hmm. So we go, you keep your end of deal, I keep mine. Well, Gormaz, we're yeah. not entirely sure it fits you onto the boat, onto the ship, but yes. <laughs> Trust me, we fit. Me, biggest brain out of all of you, me can tell that I will fit. Mm, okay, now you're <laughs> kind of being ridiculous. <laughs> all right, let's he go. He points to let's his go. giant yeah. head, he says, bigger <laughs> brain. Okay, well, jeez. He's kind of not wrong. All right. <laughs> but yeah, Pip's kind of like, well, I guess he isn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i guess you'll have to swim out to the boat though yes uh me swim here you take chest and he sort of pulls out a thousand out of out of it with a bag you see that there's probably about twenty four thousand more in there um Ooh. give or take uh between 20 to thirty thousand. um he f puts into a giant bag and throws it at your feet um he puts he puts one one uh chest onto like one dinghy and starts i guess going off into the water because now there's like, way less of you. You guys only really need one dinghy back to the ship. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he sort of just sort of put, helps you guys drag your boat into the water um, and swims alongside you guys. And he says, you make right choice. Me, me remember this. When me big warlord, me give you lots of riches. Gormaz remember friends. And you guys just sort of keep going out towards the boat. Um, the captain does not look thrilled about this at all. Um... Though he can't really fight with his big ape. And, like, when the ape gets onto the boat, like, he puts, like, one big hand onto it. And the boat sort of, not capsizes, but almost goes to, like, halfway. If you guys have ever tried getting back onto, like, a surfboard mm -hmm. or, like, anything like that. It sort of is going halfway, and then he gets on. Um, and he says, me distribute my weight well. And he just sort of, like, lays spread eagle onto the oh deck of the God. ship. Um, he says, we travel like this. We leave now. <laughs> So, all right, you are the captain. captain. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, the captain kind of just shrugs, looks aghast. The ship is now with both the giant chest that he, um, I will say Gormaz is just holding onto his chest. Um, and the ship is sort of like probably about halfway more in the water than it used to be. And you guys sort of set sail and head off into the sunset while Gormaz talks about all the things he's going to do. Um, and uh <laughs> yeah i love gourmaz gourmaz <laughs> i really want gourmaz to become an integral part of this entire yeah. thing now <laughs> i want to be a better GM. leader than <laughs> people in the, in the modules just like and of course you guys know gourmaz is off to the east in his new utopian kingdom <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah no matter what dcc game i run the gourmaz will be in all all realities off being a warlord somewhere <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> I'll follow you, Gormaz. Chisels all 20, in. He's, he 24,000. Did you say 24,000 gold? 
That's a, in that's the chest. A lot of gold. In the chest, yeah. He gave you guys a thousand, and you could tell, like, wow. from inside, just from the guess of how much he took to put into the sh- into the into the bag for you, you could tell there's between like twenty and thirty k in that chest. And not not immune to sleep or anything like that. <laughs> He's a lot of. <laughs> oh my gosh! I I want to see the next adventure as you try and sleep the giant gorilla on a boat in the middle of the ocean as you try and steal from him. <laughs> when we don't have any fleeting luck left, <laughs> it's, a, it's a shame she's lawful. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys uh, survived the second level adventure. You're now all level three. Oh, um, we did it. Uh, I cannot believe you actually did that. Thanks, I, Tim. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Clav Garak. Yeah. Uh, in terms of yeah. so, in terms of riches, now I, I'm gonna say it now that you guys just like last time that when you guys didn't go in for the uh, the, the funnel or whatever, um, that room that went up had about 1,200 uh, gold <laughs> worth of gems on like that. Like they're basically these big planets. There's like a planetarium in there, and there's just all these gems all on them that you guys could have like cracked off and taken without any repercussions. I that's going to be a recurring theme, isn't it? I know, you guys, you guys keep walking past room. them, and I can't say anything. I'm not going to fucking, like, stop you and make you go, no, 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 no there's stuff back there, but... <laughs> but, yeah, no, you guys, you guys are great. Um, you guys are level three, which is awesome, which we can deal with later. Um, and you also have satiated the uh, host of chaos for now. Now, this definitely isn't a one-for-one one pass, but you guys pushing the needle a bit further in chaos is... Uh, favor is definitely good for you at least for keeping them off your back for a little while longer um <laughs> but yeah good job guys um nice yeah that was fun oh my yeah. god that was some craziness <laughs> <laughs> the, the, all that planning for the sleep yeah. spell i know that was so I good that, i like oh just let it go on and on and on and on and on uh and then oh uh, yeah well she is a I could not, I could, I was trying so hard awesome. to not, to not reveal anything on my face when you guys are talking about that, because I'm like, oh god, you guys know she's from, like, an ancient race, she probably doesn't, like, she could be immune to, to charm or any of that stuff, she was totally that immune to my sense. topics, yeah. That would all make sense, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny, that was funny, yeah. Oh. Uh, and yeah, Tim, somebody in chat said, like, oh, uh, Tim just beat the final battle, like, yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yep. It was like, how much XP does Tim get? For- yeah. so it's fine he's gotten his reward yeah reminded to tim to send his bank details later yeah yeah (laughs) i'll say tim and pt to an extent because those re-rolls on the d12 were uh, getting a one shot off well i will look i will look at the um the last vod to see what it was told you she'd give you because i really cannot remember (laughs) yeah we'll figure all that out but you guys are now finally flush with cash um we'll obviously talk outside of the game here um if you guys want to do anything between the next this session and the next one, I'll let you know what the next scenario is. I'm not totally sure on which one that's going to be just yet. Oh, and one thing I'll say to everybody in the chat, um, because Dan won't be here for the 16th game, um, Wizard here, if his internet uh, persists better next time. Uh, um, hopefully in two weeks, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <Jesus Christ. laughs> um, Wizard has very nicely decided to run us uh, run a Delta Green one-shot for us. I don't know if you have a scenario picked out yet, Wizard. I assumed you didn't. Uh, but... No, so I'll need to do a couple read-throughs. But... Yeah. But uh, we'll be doing a Delta Green one-shot um, on the 16th, and then we'll be back with the Palo Shame campaign on the 30th with a level 3 adventure. Um, and yeah. So thank you, everybody, for watching.